You know, you mentioned Alondis Williams. This is a young man who improved by leaps and bounds. You talk about two years of Oklahoma where he was a role guy. And, and Shrift mentioned ACC player of the year. He comes away for us, and he's a star alongside Jake. Information from teams as whether to keep your name in the draft or go back to college. And, and in terms of the information that's going to come down to them, where will they get the information from? Is that through their agent? Or the first pick in the 2022 NBA Draft goes to the Orlando Magic. Agree with each other, probably. Yep. Um, when you when you think about what guys wanted, the NBA game is different than the college game is right now. And I've talked to a lot of coaches. Guys want to showcase in college what they can do in the pros. How hard is that? That balance to be like, don't don't show us what you. Um, I think it's our job to do both. Uh, 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 you know, every, everybody, I, I mentioned the server, everybody's got their own timetable. And our job is to put each individual in. My dad would have loved it. Life, it's a great time. The difference between an agent and a realtor is real. Let's see the kitchen. The expertise yeah. to find just what you need. That's who we are. <laughs> <laughs> To explain a little bit of the difference in the nuances of the NBA game in comparison to what they see in college? Yeah, we try to because it's a big difference, right? Co Colin, Colin, Colin. Um, well, to do over their their college career, you know, one for this year. Um, you know, how much has that been, you know, as far as when, when teams are calling you regarding them, as far as not just what they're doing at the combine, but they've been really good players. And you notice when you're a freshman, it, everything is so fast and you're trying to overthink everything. And I think he just really relaxed and played and, you know, he felt comfortable and he made shots and, you know, you, you know, like really having to adjust to, you know, this game style that we have over here in the States and for him to become who he is now, like everybody's asking about Dyson and Marjon. Extra pressure on themselves because they feel like this is kind of the only way they can audition. But as we said, they've, they've played during the course of the year, right? They've played in the ACC or in the conference tournament. Um, so out of the game, like Jean Montero from Overtime Elite. Not a guy that many people are talking about. He's got highlights all over the place on YouTube. But in terms of NBA scouts, Bobby, do they know much about Montero? Well, I mean, this whole situation situation is unique for these guys because for most of their career, they've been able to pick where they went to college. Here, they have no control over this, right? The only control is what they can do on the court here where they're not. In the National Football League, if that basketball career doesn't work out for Ron Harper Jr. Harper going to work against Rebracha. Felt the contact, the fadeaway no. Amori there for the follow and a foul. Yes, he has. But this young man with the basketball right now with this lineup and Rutgers on the floor, he's going to shoot. Here he goes, driving inside against Chris Murray, and he's got his first two. Boy, oh, kept it in his left hand. And son has made a big difference since he's come in the game for Iowa. They've gone zone. He's been able to capture the miss and then push it up the, the floor very quickly. Harper's three, tipped out back on top, a 7-0 Hawkeye run. Hey, with the screen, Harper going baseline on the drive. That won't go. Keegan Murray with a good box out. Hawks looking the Hawkeyes. Rutgers won for the last nine. They had a field goal in four minutes, and 20 seconds. Harper will try to change it with a high arcing three, and it will not go. If that shot clock expires, wasn't quite as good as the one McCaffrey fed uh, Keegan Murray. That was a little high there. Okay, he'll try Harper in the corner, and that is a huge three for Ron Harper Jr. and the 3.7 left. But a really good strategy by Iowa, really limiting the number of seconds they had to get this off. There's Harper, contested three at the horn, short, and Iowa takes a nine point. And then finish. 43-32, Keegan Murray with 20. Geo Baker will enter it to Ron Harper Jr., and Rebracha says no. That. He's got that fadeaway jumper down. Okay, he baseline drive out to Harper for an open three. Oh, what a rebound. Man, Tom climbing over three. Hawkins. 38. That thing's still going down. That's right. And he's creative. Creative score, similar to what his dad used to be in Philadelphia. Harper. Mm. Good bucket there for Ron Harper Jr. He's got seven. There. On top, a little pressure now applied. First time we've seen this this afternoon with McCaffrey on the top of it. Harper oh. taking it right to the rim for two. Oh, man. You don't knock the Bracha back like that. Look. Answer with a three. Rebound tipped by Amori to Mulcahy. And Mulcahy looking around as he comes up the floor for Harper. Finds him for three in and out. The long rebound to Patrick McCaffrey. 
game. And didn't get the loose ball and ends up giving up a three. 15 to shoot. Harper trying to clear some space in the fadeaway. Rebounded by Rebracha. Team. And you look at the eye test. Rutgers passes it with flying color. Harper exploding down the baseline. Blocked away down there. Able to get it back amidst the traffic. And all. Oh. Cliff goes straight up and down. He's vertical. No foul. Okay, he into Harper. Harper bumped through the contact. Can't get it to go. And Rebracha with a rebound. Well, Harper of top 41 net teams and beat them. Yeah, that Indiana team continuing to win here is only helping Rutgers' resume. Good point. He has taken on his personality. Defense first, gritty team, and the sky's the limit for what Micah Shrewsbury is going to be able to do with his program. There's Harper, and a chance for three. All league defensively, and there's a reason why. It's the studying on top of the great abilities they play with. And Lundy's locked up against Ron Harper Jr. Ran into a screen. Harper short. And look at some of the numbers. Ripped away, Geo Baker. Ahead to Ron Harper Jr. Today, that just being announced with a stomach wow. problem. That makes things a little bit more difficult for the Wolverines to try and pull off the upset. Harper into the teeth of the defense. Hera Altori early in this half try to pick up that third foul. Right now just settling for jumpers and tough shots around the rim. There's Harper launching from three. Harper with four points in the first. Needs to lose to Michigan and Iowa needs to lose against Illinois. That's what happens is well within reach. Morning. Second opportunity for Rutgers. The rim. Leading the way for Penn State is Sessoms with eight. And 17 in the first matchup. There's the alley oop to Harper, senior to senior. So good at this. Amori on the roll. Somebody's got to protect the rim. Harper had it altered by Lundy, and there's a chance for three. For as much as it feels that Rutgers has dominated this game, Penn State still within striking distance. Harper again and one. Really taking their time on the offensive end. Harper leaning in. Lundy doing his job on Harper. Great defense. Harper deep three, in and out, and a chance to tie or take the lead for the Nittany Lions. Great switch. I'm surprised Ron Harper Jr. didn't let that fly. He had race Thompson pretty far off him, and now he's going to have to make a play into the shot clock. Well, instead, he blows right by Miller Cop and lays it in. He just hesitated, froze Miller. A very intriguing offseason to see who stays and goes. Harper rejected by Jackson Davis. He has been engaged on both ends, staying in that play. Defense is the best in this league in conference play for a reason. you got to move the basketball. Shot clock inside five. This is Ron Harper Jr. time. Boy, oh, he pulled it from Indianapolis, and he knocked it down. Harper Jr. And straight up defense by Miller Kopp. Out. Sit back up and in Ron Harper Jr. It was a man's board by Ron Harper Jr. Going up over the top and then getting contact right away. Those shot blockers are lurking. Just not strong enough with the basketball and transition defense not there. Ron Harper Jr. getting a wide open one. And a pretty good look. That's one Rutgers will take all night. But three of eight from deep now. And driving on McConnell. Rejected by Amori. And hands by Mulcahy. And now on the other end, Harper, open three, book it. Good sequence. Yeah, no, it, it doesn't seem like a big difference, seven or ten, but this place would have been rocking and rolling, and you're down double digits on the road. I love this action. Pick and pop, Ron Harper Jr., top of the key. And who gave it to Ted was their first since it was four to three, but Indiana takes it right back. Harper. Short, but right on line. Should have shot the first one. It was a better. Harper, 13 points to lead Rutgers. Low pass, but he handles it and knocks down another big shot. With a slip. Harper. Off 
off the heel. Cop with a one hand. Ten seconds left. Rutgers has a timeout if they want to use it. Harper, remember what he did against Purdue. Can he do it against Indiana? Yes! Rutgers is not going to survive allowing that kind of post no. up all night from Johnny Davis. No, because there was a lot of contact there as well. And so. If he could get in the post, he's going to really cause a lot of issues for the Scarlet Knights. He's back creating the space and elevating. Well, McConnell really harassed Davis in that first meeting. Helped him to 11 points. Yep. Harper can't get the three to go. Amori battling for the rebound off the hands of Davis. And it's on the post. Posting against Wall. Now Harper will try to go to work against Wall. Double comes from Hepburn. Oh, and man. using the window. Oh, man. A reverse? Or nothing beyond that. That's right. Harper, one-on-one -on -one against Wall. Walling up again. Now I'm just stealing Stephen Bardo's punch. Oh, you can steal it because <laughs> it's one or two spots on the floor where it feels like a mother's hug. You know what I'm saying? You got to get comfortable. Here's the bench for me. Harper with the three, and it won't go. Davis with the rebound. So now. Opportunity for the Scarlet Knights to stack some buckets. Harper will do that. And he'll go to the line for one more. What a move. Kevin Wisconsin has a chance to have an outright lead. They can win this game on the road because they can win so many different ways. Harper trying to get it going with the two. He's got seven. Takeaway. It's Harper. It's Baker. Harper for the top. Dies on the back iron. Yeah, I think they're a little keyed up in about all that they see on the floor at one time. Harper, oh, he wanted to shoot the three. Oh. And that's why. That's why we're tied at 42. Out to Harper. He'll try the three. Amore, offensive rebound. Put it on the deck. Lost the handle on the ball and a foul on the floor. Down five, need points. Harper will try for three of them. And he'll get three. Timeout. Rutgers, their final timeout. And a two-point game. With 28.3 to go. Good. We got some of the early game jitters out of the way for both sides. Starting to get a little bit of flow on the offensive end. Well, Harper, how about that? A couple of spins, and then he lays it up and in. Ooh, is that possession. Well, that, that was a pretty good move by Dickinson in terms of a, a guy catching on the move. Harper right in his shooting pocket. Usually knocks that down, missing there. For a long time, over three decades, going across the recruiting circles of the East Coast over the years. Harper inside. Oh, move. Nice move up and under for Ron Harper, Harper Jr. Jr. Once again, Rutgers is teams met. And Harper had 20. They really were the offense in that victory at Piscataway. Harper leaning in, trying to draw the foul. Oh, no, wow. but man, he's hit some tough oh, shots wow. from this side of the floor. I'm telling you, that looked a little bit like it's something that now all these players think they got to be able to step out and hit the three to go to the next level. And Dickinson, probably one of those guys as Harper hits the mid range, But it is nice to see an old school post up. The first half, we've seen a lot of games in the Big Ten. In the first half really struggled to get to the 30 point mark. It's like these, both of these teams will eclipse that. And Steven, uh, Steve Florida. So 1.3 left. Harper gonna get a good look at it. Well, he hit one that was a little tougher than that against Purdue to knock off the then number one. Harper, he'll take that all night, but a bad miss. Falls to McConnell, though. How about Baker from that spot? But he's a, a, an elite defensive unit in Rutgers. Oh. And Harper forcing his way into the body of Hunter Dickinson. Count the bucket and the foul of the big fella. Harper. Oh, that's tough. Ooh, that's the dream shake right there, baby. How do you defend that? You don't. <laughs> you just run down the court, tip your hat. They're very dynamic offensively. When they're not, they have to result to going one-on-one -on -one for Ron Harper Jr. Yes. yes. Make, make life miserable for his opponents and the coach. Harper driving right at Dickinson. Ron Harper Jr. Ron has really been able to of seven rebounds as well tonight. Harper, no. Well, 
They got tonight and has played pretty well. Lava tap. Harper throws it down. McConnell with the assist. And a timeout is taken by Steve. That has been the key for the Boilermakers offensively. Just another example there with Stefanovic's shot. First shot by Harper shows no ill effects from the finger as in December in Piscataway. Number five as we enter play tonight. Harper from the corner. Off on that three. Offensive rebound McConnell. He'll try again. Different result for Ron Harper Jr. Yeah, good rotation. Purdue could spread the floor and play with a faster unit when Williams comes into the game. Off three for Harper. Thompson in amongst the trees. Secures the rebound. Snuck up behind and took it away. And the Big Ten steals. Later does it again. Harper with a deep three. And the rebound back tapped by Amori. And then his pocket is take over the game defensively. A very unique player. Maybe he could bounce to a cutting run. Harper Jr. on the baseline, using almost the entirety of the shot clock. Look at Mulcahy. He likes that back down dribble. Good counter double team by the Boilermakers. Here's Harper. He'll step in for two. And Ron Harper Jr. is into double figures with 10. Speed. You can look to pass it in the post. You can look to back down, use that dribble, attack off the bounce, but get a piece of the paint. Harper trying for three and out of bounds. It'll stay on this end of the floor. 75 60. Purdue by 15. Harper in the corner. The three won't go. Gillis skying for his one ranked Purdue. Last week beat Michigan State and Ohio State here, then went to Wisconsin to win that three straight ranked victories. Harper got it. Bait on their jumpers, and you can't guard it. And two of the prettiest shots, as you were talking about, that you'll see between those two guys. This guy's got a pretty good jumper as well. Too much from Harper Baker with the offensive rebound. Meanwhile, you've got the Illinois team sitting atop the Big Ten standings. They've been so good. Dating to last year where they won the Big Ten tournament title, taking it to the rack, Ron Harper Jr. Could keep him out of the paint, but he's not finishing, and he's got to get in better shape. I don't think people realize how severe those concussion issues were for him as well. Tap back, Harper missing two shots. Headaches, they had to take him back out of the lineup again. Long rebound here by Baker. Harper, stop and pop. Whoa, the bank is open late in Jersey tonight. To see your team whip the ball around and, and then you throw in Nick Anderson and Bardo and Battle and Gill. They've had two special teams at Illinois that you'll love to watch. Close look there, but a miss at the rim. It was pretty solid defense. He was just better offensively. Gonzalez AG. Crowd wanted a foul. It ends up with Harper and he misses the open jumper. He's so lethal at these high ball screens and also posting up smaller guards. So we got to keep our eye on that, how he posts guys up. Ron Harper just getting to the basket easier, but he's got to finish. Amori kept it a little elite. He's one of them. Well, Frazier, McConnell, been so good for Rutgers. Late shot clock, Harper, no. Around and out, and Frazier picks up the rebound. That's about the third season high, 14 points and six rebounds for him. Amori, well, that's not his game, but how about Harper? Acrobatic up and in. You. No doubt. I mean, you talk about just splitting the defense. What a pass to me. Got it. Well, can he find Ron Harper Jr. on that one? They're just going to run these high ball screens, drive, and look for these lobs. Free to shoot. Harper contested. No. Long rebound. There's Melendez. Oh, Frazier took it from his own. The first open looks a good one. Illinois still struggling from outside the arc, just four of 20, but very capable. Nobody stopped Ron Harper Jr. And an empty possession that time as Hepburn got a look. Harper Jr. for three, and it's a red hot start here for the Scarlet Knights. Pass. And he was so good against Michigan State. He was so good against Michigan State. I thought it was his most efficient game as far as understanding when to attack. Four to shoot. 
Scarlet Knights have had success in this kind of situation. That's a fadeaway shot for Harper Jr. and another offensive rebound. There's Jalen Miller who gives it up. Now five to shoot. Harper Jr. at the top of the key. This is where he can be dangerous. Goes to work. The fadeaway falls just as the shot clock expires. At least that's just a tough shot. He still is continuing to grow, and that's what's special about Johnny Davis. They look at his decision making. He saw triple teams against Penn State, right? And, and struggled scoring. And then was able to handle it better. Harper on the take. He got challenged and an and one back the other way. That is brute. With the experience. I don't think you do that with a freshman. Okay, he surveying the court. He gets it out to Harper Jr. for three. And Davis clears. Switch is made. McConnell finds Harper Jr. and he knocks down the three. Harper Jr.'s third three point ties it at 43. Harper Jr. takes it inside. Finishes it with the right hand on the left side. Baker, out to Harper Jr. Another rebound here to Johnny Davis. Picked up his third personal, by the way. Harper Jr. inside. Folk with the rebound. Ranked opponents in the AP Top 25 three straight times. That is what is at stake for them. And they've never won here. Junior looking for it. This time going a little zone. EJ Liddell getting a good shot from the high post, but un unable to get it to go. Harper, deep three up top. That is his spot. The trail three is Ron Harper Jr.'s deal. And should by the Scarlet Knights tend to shoot for Harper. Oh, okay, he's the new Mark Jackson. He's backing guys down from everywhere. That three was blocked. And here comes Michi Johnson Jr. once again playing with a mask. He's going to grab a seat. And now Arns is on the floor for the first time. Harper baseline challenged by Key. Knocked out of bounds. Ohio State ball. Well, Zed Key just protecting that rim on the floor. His instincts are so good. He just shoots right to the passing lanes. A little bit lackadaisical there by Justin Arns. Harper spins baseline. Shoots over Russell. No. Tipped around a couple of times. And run down by. Another turnover. And Harper from deep. Ohio State, they, they dodged the bullet there. Jamari Wheeler had to take the basketball. Okay, he draws two. Harper off the fake. He'll drive against Key. No. And Branham rips it free. Ron Harper Jr. has had some. The arc here this half and a four point lead. Baker, he'll fake. Harper, he'll launch. Okay, he the save to Harper. Eight points, 11 boards for Zed Key. Harper baseline J short, one and done for the Scarlet Knights. Tapping it to Mokehi and then Mokehi turning and looking towards the basket to give it back. Foul was on Walker, stepped back by Harper. Line drive is good. So important, so important for so. Tyson Walker, good sign there based on what Tom Izzo was telling us yeah. before the game. Harper from the baseline doesn't go. Big rebound for Marcus Bingham. Pace is so important for me. Okay, he is on the bench. He's got a couple. He's in a little bit of foul trouble. Got two fouls. Harper step back. Fade. No. Rebound taken down by Max Christie. In a hurry. And Steve Pichel can't be happy with that, especially when you have that momentum and you've been doing what you want to defensively. Step back, Harper short, not enough legs, riding out over the back. Wow. A foul, trying to shake, spin, he got three shot, very short. They battle for it. This ball comes, here's Harper, needs it, doesn't get it, struggling, good rebound inside. Here, Brooke. Rivers make nice contributions today. Great defense by Ron Harper Jr., though. Long arms, there you go, reward him. And one, gets it done at one end, give it back to him at the other. That was it. There's Harper. 
Going hard right. Oh, he bowed his way in. He used his body to get that one. Three-point opportunity. What you talk about? Baker. Didn't get enough arc on that. Rebound Amore. There's Harper. No. Rebound to Hogarth. And on the run come the Spartans. To Michigan State. And for Rutgers, look, continue doing what you're supposed to be doing. Throw it inside to your big boy. Michigan State now one for six in the field. Another muscle job by Ryan Harper Jr. This action has to be a little bit better. You got you to gotta be tough. That's what it comes down to. Oh, man. That was a seeing eye pass. You got lucky. Harper, deep three, no, rebound kept alive. McConnell blocked. If you hear Jersey Mike Serena in Piscataway, New Jersey, for this Big Ten match. Hang on, my head. It doesn't have to be in a hurry at all. Just four points for Hall. Okay, he just dictated tempo and everything. Look at that. Three ball, Ron Harper Jr. Seven. Turned it over. Numbers against. McConnell lay up. No. Here's Harper. He's blocked. And Michigan State comes back the other way. Hogard all the way. Sets up for. Club had a 16 and 12 mark. Harper. Boy, that's a power drive. Run. Harper, too. Yeah, he's got. Difficult for Bowie. They have done that to this point. Largest lead for the Wildcats. Harper trying to cut into it. Doesn't go. Amore, he's been so active, but Bowie able to see for him. This doesn't seem to be much of a flow here, Brian, for Rutgers. Harper going to try the three, and he drains it. Maybe that'll get Rutgers going. First three. Shot clock at five. Harper going to try another. Well off the mark. And the loose ball comes to the Cats. He saw Barron cut to the back of the rim to be able to finish with that layup. Really good execution. There's Harper hanging in the air. That one doesn't go. Battle for the rebound, and Audige comes one. And then you get one after that, and then you try to string a few together. Harper had it blocked by Nance, and that is a shot clock violation. Well, then you hope it snowballs, right? Gone their way, Brian. Then you wouldn't be in such a hole. Mulcahy forcing the turnover. Rutgers with some numbers. Here's Harper. Got it. And here comes Rutgers. And that one is well short. And Rutgers was switching the defense there. Northwestern just didn't know what to do. Great catch by Harper inside. And he's fouled. Who doesn't love a big fella? Baker, Harper open for three. That doesn't go. And Barron with the rebound. The help comes up to meet Ryan Greer. What do you have? You got the pocket pass for the drop off again. Young has scored the catch last six points. Harper, that doesn't go. Rebound to Mori. And he gave it away. Barron so uncharacteristic of this team, which led the nation in assist to turnover ratio entering tonight. Great move on the baseline. Harper and the foul. the lead for the first time tonight. Harper for the lead. Off the mark. And the rebound to Bowie. Uh, defense back there. Okay, he misses the second one, but Harper, the offensive board, can't get it to go. Tip no good. And that's the rebound for North. Harper's got Greer on him. Harper weaving through, not there. Battle for the board, and it comes to Pete Nance. Free throw, and Rutgers has a chance. Here comes Harper. Harper for the lead, not there. Rebound on Deej, and he's fouled. Generally speaking, if you get to 11 wins in this league, you're going to the NCAA tournament. Well, yeah, over the last couple of years, definitely. If you're above 500 in the Big Ten. Not the year when they only got four, when Nebraska first win against the high major foe since they beat Rutgers March 1 of last year. Harper trying to get it going. Foul trouble hurting him early. And Ron Harper Jr. Oscars with their largest lead at nine. Harper almost lost it, able to get it back, and the runner won't go. Bryce McGowan's the rebound. Nebraska playing without a shoe. 
One shoe on, one shoe off for Trey McGowan. That shoe at midcourt. The three for Harper is short, and Trey McGowan's the rebound without a shoe. And now, but you just saw Minnesota, Minnesota, Rutgers, and Michigan. That's that middle group. And Our Harper, Big Ten. Will one of them make the tournament? That's the question here in the next month. They clamp down defensively. Here's Harper. Will that free throw get him going? That's short on the three and a foul. More, no, no foul. More and man got conference play from three point land. I told you earlier they're the best three point shooting team in conference play. But one for 11. Now one for 12 with the Harper miss from three point land. Harper. McGowan's had it poke free and Baker comes up with a loose ball. Looking to push now. Rutgers wants to run. Harper in transition. Three is short. Baker offensive rebound and a putback. McGowan's drives it up, blocked by Amori, and Amori tips it ahead to Baker. Baker on the run, flips to Harper, toes the line, drops the three! It's a one-point game, and Ron Harper... He wasn't getting anything inside. You can get him started, that makes it a lot easier for the perimeter guys. Ron Harper, help was late. on Harper that's a mismatch that favors Rutgers no foul called good help defense Russell threw it away Harper's only taking two shots last touch ball Mike by if Rutgers can react to it at least go out in this half on an up note great pass from Mulcahy Harper the finish there's the steal Baker, the love for Harper. Couldn't finish either time. He was hit in the face. See the inadvertent elbow. Wahab, I don't know what he's talking about as far as getting himself in some trouble. And that time he got away with more contact. Although the defender down, Scott got no help, no weak side glass coverage. Oh, they're Gary McConnell to shoot. They're giving him all kinds of space. Yeah, and when he's not squared, you know, maybe when his feet aren't necessarily set. We'll take a look there. Okay, he and, and Russell's, you know, he's been able to deliver a bushel of points. Other times he's uncharacteristically quiet. Speaking of quiet, the Terps. Led by as many as 20 late in the first half. Well, they had a chance to bend, but they just don't seem to want to break. Late in the morning, get some good looks. Quick shoot around today for Danny Manny and company, but it is paid off. They have shot the ball extraordinarily well. 11 triples today. Harper on the drive. Harper wanted it. Top of the key. And that ball was deflected. Xavier Green got a piece of it. So it, he got away with an arm. He's now in a double figures for the second straight game with 10. And the lead is back to 15. But he had Paul Mulcahy on him. Mulcahy was four fouls. <laughs> Very well, too. Harper's got to have the three. He's been short on a couple of them win as dominant as it's been well and again there's a lot to work on to try and become a tournament team again off the inbounds with Harper yeah the final time out taken by Steve Pike physical and they were tough a turnover Baker on the run out layup fell out but there's Harper to clean it up and Ron Harper his first bucket today and now has surpassed 1300 career points this was outstanding and Minnesota's got to find a way to swing the ball side to side, try to get that defense spinning. Harper tries for three, and the Big Ten leading three-point shooter in conference play. When you're undersized playing in this league, you're going to give up some offensive rebounds, but another careless turnover. Here's Harper against Thompson. Missed it. Mulcahy kicked it back.
and McConnell the rebound. What defense there. Paul Mulcahy, he read that and totally sniffed it out. Here's Harper with the hammer. You make a mistake like that on one end, you're going to pay. You have got to start to finish for Rutgers. Geo Baker reading that screen, jumping out on the switch, and not allowing Jordan Bohan to get a good look, who's been a killer in this building. McCaffrey the rebound off the Harper miss. Harper just two points so far, 31 career high at Maryland on Saturday. Harper driving inside, and good work by Chris Murray behind. Wow, that was going to be a layup. Harper with the deep three, with Toussaint running out. No problem for Harper, he ties it at 24. The table, now a turnover, now they can get out and run. And Mulcahy, one dribble, waits for traffic to clear. Back out to Harper for three. This place was ready to erupt. That's been his shot. Mulcahy against Rodrasha. Oh, nice drop off for Harper. That dribble gets to the middle of the lane, and Ron Harper Jr. reads it. Murray, 12 points, 11 rebounds. Ron Harper Jr., seven points. Stays at seven with that miss and a foul underneath as Amori gets the rebound. Give Keegan Murray a lot of credit. Amori, 12th rebound for Amori. Fourth time in the last five games he's been into double figures. Harper, tough fadeaway for Harper. A little strong. Mulcahy able to track down the offensive board. Reber out there right now to replace Amori. Reber lobbing inside. Harper could seal in there and easy two. A beautiful high low. Dean Reaver, he might check out. Working against Murray. Keegan Murray has worn him out defensively tonight. Now Harper gets past Murray to the rim. Bounces it home. Harper trying to go to work at the foul line. Eight to shoot for Baker. Here's Harper, the three. The heel rebound snared by Amori. Out of Julian Reese and not have him pick up any fouls. Harper, good position down low and a good find for Baker. Um, yeah, that was almost too easy though. Dante Hart, a last to do it. Maybe you got to get that pass up a little higher. Baker after the double shows, nearly throws it away. Harper muscles oh. it around and almost throws it down. Amori gets the rebound. They'll try a game. Just doesn't have the focus that they're giving Maryland too many opportunities. There's Harper baseline drive won't go. Amori there has the ball taken away by Eric Ayala. They've not won more than four road games in any of the previous five seasons under Peichel. As Harper, now two for five, he's got four points. And again, too easy. I mean, Ron, you know, a lot of it has to do with maturity. He's not getting in foul trouble, staying on his feet. Harper in the corner, that three will fall, and Rutgers takes the lead, 21 to 20, their first lead. Exceptional from beyond the arc last year. This year struggling a little bit, but that skill is still there. Good shot fake by Harper, just couldn't get the kind roll off the window. Nine to shoot, drives inside, using the glass, went way up on that glass, get two. Boy, he went. Harper three, just short, Harper rebound. Harper on the baseline, jump stop and a one-hand flush. Yeah, we talk about Ron Harper Jr.'s skills. Harper likes the matchup against Hart. Hart good defense and Ayala the rebound. And you're right about the defense. Hart didn't leave his feet. Up in the right in the middle of this Rutgers comeback. McConnell. Into the corner, Harper with the three, and for the first time since 21 20. It's bumped on the way up, no call. Here comes Rutgers on the push, three on three, trailing is Harper, three at the top, rolls home. 10 nothing, action. Harper trying to change it. He does with a three. He's got 20. And remember, Rutgers is up. Seven to shoot. Harper going to go to work one-on-one -on -one against Scott. Harper fades away over Dante Scott. Oh, you're kidding home. me. Are you serious? 
Coming up with big play after big play. And Baker in the corner. Harper's three falls again. Since a one for four start. Basketball since the Christmas break. You think that shutdown kind of got some time to be around the guys to get some extra work in? Because since Christmas, both of these teams have been playing great basketball. Ron Harper Jr., such an electric score, 16 points talked about, has really been filling it up as of late. Here he is defending Harper. Harper with a size advantage. Tapped out offensive rebound. Baker dials it up for. Harper just inside the arc. And a high for the rebound is Greg Lee. Post. Going right into Giovanni Scott's chest. Amori working the offensive glass, and he gets fouled. Got a good look. Those five turnovers for Rutgers have turned into nine points on the other end. And Ron Harper gets his first bucket tonight. Ron Harper loves that. Harper will pull again in and out. Well, you gave the numbers how good he's been in Big Ten play from deep. But now he's just. See if they can get him a set here. Shot up. He hasn't even attempted a field goal this half until that moment, but he misses again. Offensive rebound. Whedon. Harper, no, great shot fake. And there you go, Ron Harper hits his second tonight. Good shot. He's attempted three of them, and he only taken five the whole season. Another miss for Harper, but look at Amore. What an enforcer on the inside, number 11 is. He just said about John. Already a career high for McConnell. Harper whizzes by and scores. Just too easy. I mean, great player, getting to his right hand, splitting the defenders. Smooth layup with the right hand. But you got to have more defensive ability. It's just getting better game by game. His shot blocking, we're starting to see it on full display. Ninth block this year. He leads the team in that category. Harper misses the jumper. Omori fights for the rebound. It goes to Baker. Underneath the basket. Walker couldn't get it to go down. Good defense by Reber, who just entered. Now Harper off the handoff. Missed it well. Shorty air ball. That stopped, though, with that basket. A jumper from Kobe Webster. Not many teams in the country had the guy with 1,400 points at his previous school coming off the bench. Webster did that at Western Illinois. Harper make that right hand straight line drive. I'm sure you've heard before the first five star recruit in Nebraska history. McGowan starting to play like it. Ron Harper Jr. always plays like it. And Andre at its strip. There's Mulcahy again. Averaging over a steal per game. Flips to Harper. Left hand good. You love to play with a guy like Paul McKay. He gets this early done in the first half. Rutgers 10 of 11 from the free throw line. Some of that from Harper gets rid of McGowan's and gets the jump shot. They give him 15 points early. He gets to the free throw line. Nebraska also had a pretty tough non-conference schedule. They had to play some good teams in non-conference play. They lost seven of their last eight overall. Harper ended up sneaking underneath to the basket. Gowans lost it. McConnell ended up with it. Baker feeds it out to Harper. Three. Good for Ron Harper. 20 points. And Rutgers. Rutgers basketball team as McConnell gets the rebound there. But a lot of appreciation for Paul Mulcahy to spread that message. Ron Harper Jr. is spreading threes. He has 20 points. So in their fourth in a row today. They'll be off to a three and one start in conference play. That includes the big win over Purdue. Harper fall away jumper doesn't go. Otherwise, it's been a great day for Harper who has scored. Can ease them a little bit on the offensive end. Harper for three. Gets it right back. Ron Harper Jr. has 26 points. Harper has it now. Shot clock at five. Now three. Harper trying to get around the screen. Steps back. Three. Off the mark. Second chance. Mulcahy the offensive rebound. Heel and a rebound by McConnell. Harper Jr., good look for him from the wing. He buries the three. You have got to find Ron Harper Jr. in transit. Dante Jones has certainly answered the bell. Shoots 60% from the field last three games. 12 assists, just three turnovers. He's been really good. Let's nice look inside to Ron Harper Jr. 
Good trap by the Wolverines. Got to go. Harper Jr. at the horn. Oh, debilitating on the defense of Michigan. This is Amari with a rebound. Michigan on the year has really guarded the three-point line well, but that has not been the case tonight. And really for the last two games. No. Look right there. They have struggled. Not just shots, but now passes to the rim. Wide open look. Robert Jr. parries another one. Tough shot forced by Harper with and with that ball fake to the middle. Now we can get to his left hand. That was big time by Hunter Dickinson. Harper Jr. for three. Short. Another example of a Michigan player not knowing where Ron Harper Jr. Okay, he fires away from three. Tapped out to Ron Harper Jr. Second opportunity good. It's just a killer because you get Paul Mulcahy he a sub 30%. Jones then lost it. McConnell running the break. Ron Harper Jr. lays it up and in. That was well done by Caleb McConnell. Leading the way. Clock down to five. Bit of a mismatch. Harper Jr. driving. I love that he didn't settle. He didn't get it to go, but he had Hunter Dickinson alive. Keeps it alive. Gonna get a foul. Jace Howard wanted a hell ball instead. It's a foul. Seven. Harper Jr. on the curl. Knock it down. He's got 20. They needed that shot. Ryan Harper Jr. coming off the double. Diabate. Harper Jr. Offensive rebound. Kick out. Nobody home. Pretty good defensive possession right there for the Wolverines. Seven from the floor. Ayama had it ripped away by Ron Harper Jr. He's been so good on both ends for this. Now he'll tee up a three. Four to Ayangma. But you know what? At the same time, this group has nothing to lose coming in here to play Rutgers. And when that's the case, sometimes you play with great confidence and surprise the people. Ron Harper Jr. blocked there on the second opportunity after getting his own rebound. This is a, a central connect tapped away. Leo Baker with an early three points. This time a lock it up, and the finish is meant to be this time as Ron Harper slams it down. Rise up and, and knock it down. You see the great help defense there from a collective effort of, of Scarlet Knights. Now Harper's feeling it from deep. A little strong off the iron. Ostrowski the board. We are kind of splitting minutes, and uh, but to have the numbers that he's having and Nice find, nice, nice feed, and, and, and good uh, block there from Central Connecticut State. But uh, this league is loaded with bigs, and it's just going to be fun to watch those guys battle this season. Ron Harper Jr. for three. Uh, the iron, by the way, that game will be in New Jersey. And again, so a young guys. Here is Baker looking for him to score a little bit more as the season progresses down to Harper. Huge size advantage and an easy jumper. Great coaching by the his second made three of the season. McConnell gave up the look. Harper, he'll fire away. That rattles home as well. Four on two. He did a good job getting back. Harper steps out. He rolls it out. He used all of the shoulders on that one to get in the lane. Maine's back within seven. Harper, right at the defense for two. Yeah, that's exactly what we were talking about. You have to sprint. Rutgers had an 18-point lead late in the first half. Maine finished the opening 20 on an 8-2 run. Harper on a great kick pass from Mulcahy. Well, that play worked before McCle Mulcahy when he's playing like that. Talking a little trash out on the court. And the long rebound out to Baker. Great look, Mulcahy to Harper in transition. Rutgers just like way from the basket and opens it up for his teammates. Anybody who can face up and score is an elite offensive player. Connell foot on the gas. Be deflected from behind. A rebound for Efra two. The first half hasn't hit one here in the second. Harper off the glass, counted in an opportunity. 
for three and maybe to put this game away for good. We talk about weight room rebounds, but Ron Harper's one of those guys who can score. Pretty much dead until that win over Purdue. Now perhaps a shimmer of hope. Long jumper, well off the mark from Harper. Rebound of the Scarlet Knights, Caleb McConnell. Ron Harper Jr. The runner. No, tip wouldn't go. Rebound for Kale. Miles Kale almost tipped that in. He did. They said he hadn't practiced in something like 20 days. Yeah, 20, Got a little workout in this morning. 20 days, but he's young. So he's probably going to bounce back quickly as Ron Harper Jr. That's the second time we've seen that running. Oh, another dangerous pass. Winds up with Harper. One and done for the Scarlet Knights. A dangerous play for... Harper, a three. Hook it. Yetna was calling for a switch there. Defensive. Now you're dealing with a different player, Jared Roden. He can heat up quick. Crowd rising with the Pirates. Opening up a four-point lead. Three is off the mark for the Scarlet Knights. And Rick Wing. Harper spins, posts up against Yetna, couldn't get the roll. Here come the Pirates on the run out. In transition. Nova. He was a completely different player his last year in the national championship team. Boom. Look out. Yetna. Turnover. Fifth Second in a row for the Pirates. Yeah, fifth of the half. An 8-0 run here for Rutgers. Here's Harper. Probing, stepping back. And he calls. Struggled from the field a bit. Harper with six to shoot. Rejected by Roden. Timer down to two. Harper. Tough look. Gets the roll. And Rutgers will call their final timeout. Good to have this rivalry back. The Garden State Hardwood Classic returns after a year away. And Seton Hall. A lot of here in 07. UConn here is the number one team in 04, but they lost both of those. Deep three. Harper ring it up. Ron Harper, when he's on, Robbie, he's dangerous. I think this, this Purdue team has a great chance to break that record. They are... The depth and the size is what separates this to, to what I think is the best Purdue team Matt Painter has had. Top of the arc in that bubble. Both teams shooting it pretty well. Rutgers over 50%, Purdue 46%. Inside Harper with great. A 9-0 run that Rutgers is on to get the lead back at 26-24. Harper, deep three. Got it. This is a really tough guard for the freshman Caleb first. And it's a simple pin down. Ron Harper again. That one short. Tap back. Mag almost got it to drop it finally. He had that knee injury, sat seven games, never really got into the flow. He's a different player this year. He's really worked on his body. He has come a long way in, in that regard. Out of bounds. Over there that long with that run that Purdue just went on. 17 points for Harper, but none of them here in the second half as Purdue has their largest lead of the night. Williams. He's played a terrific game here tonight. 10 points for Amori. Both free throws missed, but the offensive rebound. Boy, did Rutgers need that. Harper ends the drought. They had not scored. Into Harper, had the big first half, quiet here in the second with just two points. He likes the matchup with Morton, but too much. Rebound to Thompson. Ethan Morton, right. you don't have one of your premier players. Rutgers four and four on the season. They've lost four of their last five, but there is one of their premier players, Ron Harper. I love the play call. You clear the hole. Okay, he getting it into Harper. Ron Harper Jr. Leaning in, finger roll. Scores it. That is just beautiful footwork from Ron Harper. Down inside Harper. No, and no foul call. Ivy the other way. 
Guarded by Morton. Drives it on him. Pivots. Fades. Got it! Big shot, Ron Harper Jr. Rutgers back in front. Of it. The answer. Three seconds. No timeouts. Harper for the win. Oh! It counts at the. Here's Harper, guarded by Coleman Hawkins. He takes the screen, gets some separation, and sends a 17-footer wide with the rebound coming down to DeMonte. He's painted it off with a corner three. And Robbie, his touches here in the first 10 minutes have probably been lower than they'd like. Can't argue with the score. Four early points for the junior big man. Harper's going to come back to it. They've got to find Ron Harper Jr. He's going to have to be the guy. Now, that's not the way to do it. Coleman Hawkins is really, and has been. Now, with that being said, I am not a coach, and I don't have a job. <laughs> Take that for what it's worth. That's wiped away by Hawkins. Fresh 20. Harper gets a much-needed three. It's notable here. I'm sure the player he wants to show he can stretch the floor. You just feel like with his size, you're letting the defense off the hook. When you step out, you're not in that painted area. About Jones late on the rotation and nobody home for Rutgers. On the drive, covered with the rejection. Hawkins has it. Phoenix guys who can play. This is Hawkins. A total laugh. I, I just think. For Rutgers, you're disappointed because the effort just has not been there. And Illinois has just a while. <laughs> Nevertheless, 70-37, Illinois. But Ron Harper is going to have nightmares about Coleman. Otter couldn't finish. The tip is there as Ron Harper Jr. came flying in. Had a good start at home for Rutgers. Yeah, the freshmen just struggle a little bit, you know, trying to get your feet right. There were two straight plays there within that possession where the drive came because of a poor closeout. Tigers have hit four in a row against it. Lee. Harper bricks a two. Gonzalez, A.G., the rebound, stolen away. Ah, he made a great move getting into the paint. Again, aggressively taking shots, seeking them out. That is team shooting terribly well so far. That will continue. Harper's miss. Mokehi flying over. Back to Harper. He cans a triple. To get it while you're hot. Good seat in the Hall team after that in the Garden State Showdown. This is Ron Harper Jr., Rutgers' leading scorer. Not an easy shot. And a foul underneath will go. Instead, like it's just a memorable moment for that fan in the yeah. front row who has some sort of an indentation mark now on his shirt. Harper for three. That's big. That, that, that's big for Ron. Yeah. A lot of pool flotation devices yes. are up in the student section. Harper flushes it. And a foul. Wow, that was a wall. Yeah, hard screen by Omarue to say the least. Harper for three. And this rebound tracked down by Clemson. Tyson leaked ahead. And Tyson will finish off the field. There's Harper going to work on Tyson. Ron Harper Jr., the leading scorer for Rutgers, muscles his way inside and finishes strong. No, I like that. Sixth rebound to go with 13 points. McConnell spinning into Hunter, weaving around to Mulcahy. Harper! And a good seal out by Collins on Omaruay to get the advantage at every single position, and they're not making shots. 11 offensive rebounds to Clemson's five. Harper jacks it three, and he hits his third from deep. Harper, the trail man, buries it. You've got to be aggressive. That was a strong play as if he only has two fouls. Harper from Mulcahy. Off the shot fake, in the hole. Got the basket. And that's going to be it for Hall.
difficult. Uh, not able to knock that one. Down. Well, I think Ahmed, I think that that switch was most mostly for defensive, just for more interior protection. Coach McCall emphasized size and rebounding, and they've just been obliterated on that side. Second chances. Connell misses, corralled there by Debaji Walker. Yeah, you figure Rutgers is going to be a good rebounding team, but last game against Lafayette, good take there by T.J. Waits for two. Last game for Rutgers gets the rebound there. Was in the starting lineup today. Coach McCall, he likes his offensive game for C.J. Kelly, as you can see why. That one doesn't. Sloppy was forced, was hurried. And then after that missed three-pointer, we see them going back to their bread and butter. Buttrick to Jones. Surrounded Amorie along with Mo it Missed him. 12 to shoot. Buttrick will try again. That one long. Not able to find rhythm early on is this transfer from Penn State. With 12, Amorier has 15, Harper Jr. has 11, tried to add three more, long rebound, Jones has it, Kelly, this game out with a hamstring injury, but uh, the Scarlet Knights have not needed him so far in this game, Harper in low, we got a whistle, and we got a foul, shot making in critical moments, it's four point game, who has the ball in their hands, Ron Harper Jr. and Geo Baker. In and out, good rebound though, Mawat Mag, and he's going to the line, draws the foul on Debaji Walker. Well, Boyle gets all three. Three to one here, the score is the first touch for Ron Harper. Junior results in a can triple. And we talked about him in the open, someone that averages a double-double whenever he forces the turnover here. Harper, how about the other side? Too strong. Sharpshooter, a sophomore. Harper Jr. off the catch, wide open, and you can't leave him open from that spot. And that's exactly how you attack a 2-3. Line up, and they do it there with McConnell helping out. That's a smaller Rutgers lineup. Harper, trailer three, off the back of the rim. Here comes Lafayette. Is any little bit of contact is more often than not going to go against you, and that's going to be three shots from the line. Now Rutgers looking to respond, and they do. Harper Jr. on the slam. Yeah. Last play for uh, Lafayette. Harper Jr. looking for his own miss, and he grabbed it. Didn't have the positioning, but ripped it away from Chris Rubio. Now you think about Lafayette, a team that's already lost to Duke. They've played at Cameron. They've played at Syracuse, looking for a win, looking for what would be a massive upset on the road at a big program. They blocked it. Now Rutgers wants to run. Baker down for Harper Jr. Tip back, no. Looking for the second try. And missed it. Rutgers gets the stop, and here they come the other way. Harper Jr. on the trail. Uh, too strong. Not probably. If that ball goes way over your head, doesn't matter how well you box the guy out. Doesn't really matter. Harper Jr. gathers, gets back the miss. A fight for the rebound. Lafayette emerges with it. Now Steve Peichel wanted a call on the contact down there. It looks like he's going to check back in at the next buzzer. Okay, he. McConnell in rhythm. Off the front of the rim, but Mulcahy, the offensive board. Great job by Hyatt. Tried to go baseline, wasn't there, decided to dribble out. Harper Jr. gets a double, steps back, and this time the rebound goes to Brantley. Harper Jr. intercepts the pass. Rutgers does have a timeout here. Harper Jr. straight on three, book it! A big bucket for Harper. Basketball when necessary, but it's also a much more spaced out floor with Al Horford standing in that corner as a three-point shooter. And a player we saw this year with the NBA G League, with the NBA Combine, we've had the NBA G League Elite Camp first, and guys got the invite here to the Combine, knocking down a shot as Alondis Williams out of Wake Forest. Is it six seven? Yeah, with that size, Steve Michael will tell you he can guard all five spots on the floor. Yep. So versatile. That's right. Nice feed from him. Oh. Gets it down to Amore. It goes McConnell to Harper. To one. Harrow with the right hand. No. Harper pulls down the rebound with one hand. Great decision by Harrow, though, to attack. Rebound! 
couldn't go. Extra pass, Geo Baker let the guy fly by. Pocket. Double-A tournament, Rutgers is one of the first four teams out. Rutgers had that stretch of four straight ranked wins, but now they've lost three in a row, but now they've hit two threes in a row. First, Harper, whether they want to admit it or not, they feel like this is a game they really need tonight. I just think, you look at Rutgers' resume, and it's, it's just fascinating to see who they've beaten, and certainly some bad Indiana big men for 20 of the 28. Harper thought about it. Lobs it up oh, top, my goodness. goodness. Cliff Amore is just unbelievable the, around the, the rim. That he... Good switch right there. Rob Finnessy just knocking out that screen for the screener. Harper dropping it off. Amore with another jam, his third of the night. Looks like Ron Harper Jr. We'll see what happens afterwards, but I, I like the swagger from the young fella. Houston, eight points. Here is Mulcahy again, limited in the first half with two fouls, but he gets a friendly oh, bounce dude. there on the road. Those makes are by Caleb Houston. Be going back to break after the next whistle, and there's another dunk. That's Amori. Four of them tonight. I'll tell you. Right now, if you're Rutgers, you don't have to settle for a three. You can still get to the bucket. Up top, there's Amori. You know what he's going to do with it. Back to nine here. When do you... Rutgers has won four straight, all against ranked competition. And inside, one of the reasons why Cliff Amore's game has grown up. And Rutgers now in control of their own destiny. They can take it out of the hands of the selection committee by continuing to win. Dean Reber inside. There's been another nice spark off the bench for the Scarlet Knights. Was that, was that part of the deal? A free t-shirt and a sandwich? A sandwich, maybe something else. I don't know. We they didn't see any laying around here. They've been rocking. What a pass and a reverse jam by Cliff Amore. So good on the transition defense side of this. Here you see one-on-one -on -one Ron Harper go ISO. Brad Davidson brings the double team. They've got to close out to the shooter. And that's where Rutgers can be so dangerous. Geo Baker, there's so many to trigger. And McConnell tosses it. Harper Jr. chases it down. Okay, he takes it all the way. Finger roll finish for two. Point performance. Season best. That was at Northwestern. Five on the shot clock. Got to get something off. Long one, and it's good. How about Baker? That's a way to break out of it after going scoreless at Northwestern. And now Harper the other way. Into the lane. Harper. Here's Reber with the pull up. Dean Reber having himself a game. He's got a Harper. Harper driving on Barrett. Out of the corner, Mulcahy. He hits it. Paul Mulcahy. They haven't played as well defensively since then. There's Harper. A little hesitation. He'll drive inside and dump it down to Amori for the two-hand flush. See, Pike said Amori's been probably their most consistent player. He has been. In Defensively, they have been all over Rutgers. One make since the 18-minute mark of the opening half. That's a huge bucket. Absolutely, and again. Big bucket again. Man, this is shocking. It's not shocking in the arc, and again, he played with two fouls for a good portion down the end of the first half here tonight. That's what I'm talking about with Amore. I was really surprised earlier he didn't get a touch. It's app. Well, it's an impressive performance to say the least for Maryland. And McConnell gets the three. No timeouts left for Rutgers. They are finally back within. Harper kicks it out. McConnell for three. Well, it is so nice to see. Harper, 10 on the shot clock for Rutgers. Hyatt, another three. Curry, and a foul. Hart into traffic. That's deflected away. McConnell got a piece of that one, and Harper able to save it. Mulcahy all alone, and that's a goal 10. All right, that basket.
Mulligan because it's his first game here tonight. Harper Jr., can they get him on track? Well, he feeds Palmquist, and Palmquist Three knocks points. it down. Good job. Palmquist, that hit off his leg, but no kick because it's inadvertent. That leads to Baker knocking down the triple. Uh, could that be a big sequence later in this game? It's a big play. Great. Step back from Geo Baker right here. Harper trying to set up a screen. Gets the ball from Baker. Now Harper on the attack. Lays it off to Reber for the jam. Right. Bounced out. Mulcahy comes in. Gets the offensive rebound. Reber again. His three. It's good. Dean Reber. Ten points. Musa Diabate's eyes. Doing a great job on the offensive end, too. You see the 15 points for Gio. Step back jump for the rainbow. What a shot. That, that state coach pointed out how well Amori runs the floor. And that really makes it tough on you as a defense. Baker for three. Got it to go. Gio Baker, one of the better three-point shooters in a Rutgers team that isn't. Nice shot. Caleb McConnell trying to dump it down low to Harper. Good walk into the side. Mulcahy. Hard off the glasses one. They like the bank on their three-point shots. Well, that's one where Duhart has to make the extra pass. You cannot challenge Harper and Baker on a three-point shot. And you got to get back. Ball game. Wow. Which is more than he had in the 10 games coming in. Baker again with the answer. Geo Baker. Have He's got to get rid of the contested threes and take the ones in transition. And oh, how about that entry pass? I don't know if McConnell was about to flub the dunk, but he was able to roll it in. Rutgers. He's got a season high 25. What a pass! Oh. What a save from the One point game, one minute. Went with the basketball. There's got to be better communication there. I mean, Two guys go with the ball, they're trapped in the corner, and you leave somebody wide open under the basket. Omarue finally hits a field. For Legends Classic, I remember saying, like, having fans back, we're going to get used to it again at some point, and I, I feel like... Uh-oh, Harper up top, Omarue the flush, and they're losing their money. Dawson, his shot is knocked away. McConnell ahead to Harper. Harper ahead to the freshman Miller, and Miller will take it in for his first career points. Good for that kid. It up, led the A-10 in scoring last year. DeAndre Dominguez can fill it up from outside. Does not there. So th that's one of the points of emphasis for UMass. See, look here. We know. Let's go back to what we do well. Get the ball into Ron Harper Jr.'s hands. Let him do his thing. Or Cliff Amorian. McConnell doing everything for Rutgers. Puts him back up with the rebound. They'll fast break it. The other end checked into the game recently. It is Gonzalez Agui, and he gets that. Back to back. Great. Dimes from Mulcahy. That was a no look pass. Can they make a stop, though? Rutgers content to use some clock. Easy bucket down low. McConnell breaking free. UMass totally lost him. And see Greg Jones. McConnell cross court. Mag three. Oh yes. The freshman. His foot was on the line, so it's a two-point game. It's a three-point game now. That was a two-point. Junior snatches it away. Rutgers looking to run. Hyatt in transition got hit. Shot clock at seven. Downstairs for Amorie. More facilitation. Hyatt has to hoist and hits. We talked about being gaining more and more minutes on the floor. In for Harper Jr. Off the pump fake. Good feed for Baker in the corner. And Baker finds the bottom of the barrel. It's kind of helped him be able to lead this team as one of those seniors. A three-year starter for Lafayette now. Harper Jr. wanted to face up. Now finds Amorie. He's open. Mulcahy running the offense with Baker off the court. Harper Jr. bounced it for Amorie who navigates his way. The teams with the same five on the floor that began the game. McConnell, Harper, Baker. Finally something falls for Geo Baker. First three-pointer. 
here is Hyatt, who had a boisterous eight points last time out. Baker hiding behind the screen for the catch and shoot three. Looks like it's going to be any flopping. I didn't uh, see any movement. I mean, consider, I, mean, consider, flop. I mean, considering Rutgers was on the defensive side I there, I can't believe they flopped. On the back door cut, McConnell finds it wide open. That was clean right there, McConnell. Harper missed the floater. And Harper ripping it away and will prevent the tie-up. Out to Baker for three. And right Baker fumbles it away as Taylor can't hit that layup. Rutgers looking to break out, up ahead, Amorie all alone! Here's by two. Some nervous energy here at Jersey Mike's Arena. Downstairs on the cut, McConnell counted and one. Londis Williams for the blue team, Team Ehrman. He's trying to put up some shots early, trying to show the scouts that he can put it in the bucket. That's what he did in the ACC, ACC Player of the Year. Here's a Londis Williams ball. Yeah, it's basically through their, the agent that has that's representing them right now before they uh, make a decision here. The hard part is that it's so hard to give a player a guarantee in in this in a the guy that's best for our future moving forward. I, I think you rely on your scouts. Those are the guys who are out there doing you know, out there 300 plus days a year as far as doing all the legwork, doing all the background here. Um, you know, I think the coach them to ask him for some advice for this week. Uh, yeah, definitely. Um, I talked to Tyrese Maxey. Same with Emmanuel quickly. Um, throughout the season, throughout the season, me and D. Book talked a little bit, but I was really talking with his dad. You know, they. Uh, <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I, well, I, I feel bad because that's not one of the questions I prepped him with. <laughs> Play Bobby. I mean, come on. Seriously. And I know who asked. And we don't want to overreact right now. Uh, we think this first pick has put us in a position of strength now, and we want to continue to uh, just make the best decision possible for us. Um, she stated that you have a lot of freedom on the offensive end. And I think that's what the reason why both of them came. And we've got a, we developed a great culture. And you know, I don't let them get away with anything. We work them extremely hard. But and Diabate running the two-man game. Back to the Michigan freshman hook shot, no good. Williams steps into another one. He's been trying to work on his shot. He's been working with the rebound cry. Sanford going end to end. A little floater short. Harper now will push for Rutgers in transition. Harper end to end jumps out to McConnell to Keegan Murray with 20. Geo Baker will enter it to Ron Harper Jr. and Rabracha says no. Rabracha is the unsung guy on this team. It doesn't get a lot of teams. And if you look at the eye test, Rutgers passes it with flying color. Exploding down the baseline, blocked away down there, able to get it back amidst the traffic and all. Hera on Reaver, tough assignment for the sophomore. Hera with the right hand, no. Harper pulls down the rebound with one hand. Great decision by Hera, though, to attack. Find to shoot. Pick it. Jalen Miller on and pick it with the left hand, no. There's Hera again, tried to tap in, couldn't go. Second half. Pickett was quiet in the first two. Or he's definitely fresh. Good help defense by McConnell. Harper was right there, walling up on Greg Lee. You know, it's one thing to get oh, good at this. Amori on the roll. Somebody's got to protect the rim. Harper had it altered by Lundy, and there's a chance for three. It's Thompson. The senior on senior night, couple shimmy shakes, and he misses his first attempt, and Harper clears it out of there. Ron Harper in the corner, right back to Johnson. Trick Jackson Davis, and that's Caleb McConnell, and that's just forcing Rutgers to really help. That got Miller caught that look. And Thompson trying to get it back out. He knocked to the ground, and it's taken away. Johnson leads the charge, kicks it out, cut for three. And McConnell taps it to Harper. Outlet, here we go, re up of the arc. Harper got the rebound. Sit back up and in, Ron Harper Jr. It was a man's board by Ron Harper Jr. Going up over the top and then getting contact. Driving on McConnell, rejected by Amori. And it is by Mulcahy. And now on the other end, 
Harper opens. Johnson stops and finds Stewart. Shot clock at up. three, and the three is going up indeed. Rutgers with it with Harper. Davis against McConnell, who chased him all the way through the lane, and Davis off the side of the rim to Harper. You know what, though, Kevin? He's getting really good looks early. So. Shot clock. Crowell against Amore. The hook shot does not go. Harper the rebound. Here come the Scarlet Knights. Here comes Baker, three. Entry to Crowell. Crowell inside, kept the ball high. Harper miss, gets the rebound off the miss. Baker, quick three. Back out there with three fouls is Mulcahy. Crowell the three. And Harper with the rebound. Now Baker finds Mulcahy to McConnell. Ooh. Jumper won't go. Rebound tipped by McConnell to Baker. Oh my goodness. It's going to be some ice baths after this game today. Baker fortunate to keep that one in play. So Michigan is, is really trying to push tempo here early on. Houston doesn't get the bounce. Yeah, and it's interesting. Phil Martelli told us earlier that he would try to push that tempo. And he's, he's a treasure. He's a gem for the, for the sport. Just a, a pleasure to talk to. He's self-effacing. He's funny. And he's real. And he holds Philly. Right back to him. In and out. I think he was so surprised that ball came back. Leaving it for Harper back to Baker. Avante. Shot clock inside five. That went off the mark. Harper rips it down. That's Gio Baker. Foul away from the ball. Really. You, know, you can talk about one of their hottest players been in foul trouble of Mulcahy all night long. Right out for Brooks. Yeah, I mean, Mulcahy is also the Big Ten assist leader. Only a couple of those tonight. Sean with the calls and what he felt was no nine calls against him. Two on one. Jones takes it himself. McConnell, per usual, playing good defense. Good mark. Dickinson. Rebound to Harper. Right now, if you're Rutgers, you don't have to. 44-42. Rutgers was on a bit of a run. But from that point on, Michigan took over, and they close out a 71-62 victory. Phil Bart's fashion to find the open man, both on the perimeter and inside. Sasha Stefanovic couldn't find the range on that one. First miss from deep. Four, or, well, the three games at the rack. Impressive over ranked opponents, but going to Wisconsin and getting a W sends a big statement to the selection committee. 16-point deficit. Ivy a launch from deep. In and out. That's the one area of his game that has struggled of late. He is just four for 27 when you're not selected to the uh, to the U19 team man it eats at me to this day but I mean I know I know the bigger picture I, I can tell you every person that made it over me and hmm. I mean we played TCU it was a big game and, <laughs> I, well I, I feel bad because that's not one of the questions I prepped him with uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby. I mean come on seriously and I know who asked that I'm not gonna call that team out that person out right now I'm not him from there it's hard too because he played in the ACB which is Spain's top division He's only there for nine games, played 46 minutes. So I don't know if that actually hurts you to go to a level of that quality and not play if that actually dings you up in the long run. The technical fouls offset, but because it was McCaffrey's second, he's out for the rest of the game. And so Iowa going to have to fight this pressure without his services. All of a sudden, this is like a quad one game. You know, it's just, it's so fluid, and that's what makes this so tough. And for Indiana, they've got the better net at 43, but only three quad one wins as that one is taken away from Harper. And as Stephen Bardo mentioned, he's even better on the road at 22.4 points per game in road games this year. Who gets better on the road? All Americans. <laughs> uh, uh, that's a scouting report play right there. Tyler Wall remembered what the set and formation was. As soon as Harper jumped, looked at him jump on his right hand. He knew he was in his six years there. That's already a record by head coaches at Rutgers. As there's a turnover and then another turnover as Ron Harper 
Jr. picks up his second. Hurry, that was not a bad possession by Michigan. That ball penetration in the paint. Oh, good hands by Hunter. And Dickinson got a hand on it. Brooks able to dig it out, flip it over his shoulder, and that leads. Displaces you, puts his hands up, catches it. It's that deep. It's all over. Harper step Whoa. back. Who got in the air? Good defense, and that forces the turnover. And now Plummer from the way. Harper, nine points so far. Getting into the paint, but there's Frazier. There's those quick hands of the defense. Now well, they're back in the discussions we talked about for the tournament with three consecutive wins over ranked opponents. Backdoor pass and going up. Boy, Hyatt just lost it. Frazier in on the drive, and he thought he got hit. He's a little bit slow to get up. Harper Jr., he stepped on the sideline. We'll go back the other way by six. Davison, short. Badgers get it right back. Davis throws it away. Ten turnover. Harper. Wow. Yep, yep. That right shoulder dug it in a little bit too deep. Well, and that's one where you've got to find a way to get it in. You've got to find a way to convert that fast break. Here's Harper, and an offensive foul. Played back up to Miles Johnson. This year, he is the primary starter. And a whistle and an offensive foul on Ron Harper Jr. That's his first as we look at the starters. Kobe Webster. Getting the importance of Derek Walker on the floor in this game. Harper gets past May and driving inside. A whistle and an offensive foul. Number two on Ron Harper. Harper got popped on that. And Harper on the other end. Banging into May, and it's a charge, and it's number four on Ron Harper Jr. They do have the ball here with an opportunity to get it back to within single digits. Harper. No foul called, and Russell has the steal, and there's the foul, and that might just end it. Yeah. Could not ask for a better start if you're a Gopher fan for Peyton Willis. Paul Mulcahy does everything well for Rutgers. Played a key role against Iowa. Now Harper lost. Find somebody gets Harper in the corner, and that's going the other way. Stepped on the sideline, and a turnover to the Hawkeyes. Had his first double double as an Iowa Hawkeye this past weekend against Minnesota. Kind of like that. Had a couple of misses inside, got his own, added the stats a bit as Harper's shot taken away. Here comes Tucson. Great speed on the push and the lob. Despite right, the fact that, as you say, they play pretty good defense. Just not knocking him down. Maryland's missed their last five. Harper lost a handle on that one off his leg and a turnover back to the Terrapins. And to build a lead and keep a lead, that's what you have to do. Crossover by Harper and an offensive foul. Number two for Harper. Give it 13. Right now it's at a dozen. And Harper thought he got fouled. No whistle. Four on two. And Palmquist, that hit off his leg, but no catch. That's the shooter, and then you're going to have your big man rolling to the basket. And a foul, and they're going to get Ron Harper Jr. His frustrating night continues, but the offense. Okay, he the junior from Bayonne, New Jersey. Misses the second. Well, he tapped that to Harper, and Harper lost it. Dread with a great defense. Look at him. Diabate, Harper Jr. Offensive rebound, kick out, nobody home. Pretty good defensive possession right there for the Wolverines. The average five makes a game. Well, that's a great sign going forward for them. And what a difference it makes when you take a shot in rhythm 
off a pass from your teammate rather than forcing the issue. Yeah, absolutely. Ron Harper Jr. knows it. Grins at the referee a little bit and goes and plays defense. An easy one. Fortunate there. Miscommunication. Two guys go with one and he jumps wide open. Off the mark there for Brandon Newman. One of several guys shooting about 40% for deep for Purdue. Got the offensive foul set in the moving screen, but he's been tremendous on defense tonight. Double team comes on Harper and he throws it away, and then Jaden Ivey gets bumped by McConnell. Country 44% from deep, Purdue. Harper has it stripped by Williams. Two on one. was cutting on the baseline, and he threw it away. Well, had he been cutting, he would have had a layup. I mean, it looked like Caleb McConnell faked him out, started to cut, stayed in that corner, almost. A 7-0 run for Illinois. Harper is just robbed. Coleman Hawkins purloins it away. That's a good deal. I, you got to command the basketball and demand the ball in the post by holding that seal. Harper, yep. offensive foul. You could see that coming the whole way. As Tyson, who is a master of drawing. How does this team finish? It's, it's almost going to be point guard by committee. Harper out of control. That's an offensive foul. Charge taken by Collins. Third foul against Harper. Earlier had a foot injury, Corey, in a scrimmage earlier uh, in the season, in the preseason. But he could be a big part. Scored 10 points in his first action with UMass last game. 10 points. Uh, that, that's his. He off the court. You got Rich Kelly, who can score. Garcia with a shot there. You saw Greg Jones for UMass. TJ Weeks, some scores on the court. Down 13. Otto, who's been filling up the stat sheet in multiple categories, now gets his fifth steal in the first half. A career high in steals for McConnell. Not for UMass, see if they can cash in. Fernandez with an open look. No. Rebound goes to McConnell. Up ahead. Now Rutgers with a chance to expand this lead a little bit. Harper Jr. lost it. Now Lafayette forces its first. Baker just hit it from that spot. Five. Now Harper Jr. couldn't handle it. Looks like he got hit from behind. Ends it. And taken away, floater at the horn, bounces off the back of the rim. Well, Lafayette able to get one more three there just before. More than just about right now for them. The Big East has already won this year's edition of the Gavit Games. Big East against the Big Ten. And a turnover. He, playing. he also got a chance to experience what it was like to be in college earlier than normal. Sideline and back to back turnovers for Rutgers. Here's Hyatt. Weimer tried to tip it back home with that vertical of his. DePaul has the basketball up by four. Largest lead of the game for DePaul. And a foul called on DePaul. DePaul, they're just missing shots, but for, for Gio Baker, I'd love to see him in more of a side pick and roll. You never want to make that pass that far away. But that's been DePaul's M.O. One-on-one, -on -one, they clear you out. Better be able to defend one-on-one. -on -one. Bad pass, DePaul has it back. Chance to regain the lead. And he found religion. He found religion. He went to community college, put up numbers, and here he is, man. He's just so grateful for the every opportunity that he gets from here on out. It has these and and interviews and, and uh, 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 um, the psychological test, everything we go through in the draft. So we have to go through everything before we make our final decision. And they're doing the same. Tyson Daniels was projected to be a top 10 pick. Marjan Botan, very close to you, well before you were a coach of the G League Ignite. You were Aiden, uh, you know, but, you know, Dyson, of course, is high on everybody's list of what, you know, what he has been able to showcase. And he has this confidence. Back down and then finish. Perkins in traffic. Perkins strong. Oh. Penn State out of the gates. Two for nine from the floor. They've made a three. That was Lundy's. 
Micah Shrewsbury was telling us he could dunk from anywhere on the floor. Lundy with a good drive. Johnson driving on Harper, fading, tough shot, doesn't get it. Amore today, 13 points, five assists, three turnovers. Hepburn to attack again, rejected by Harper. Magoo wisely gets organized. Ivy turning the corner, the scoop won't hold on. Everybody's going to focus on Rutgers and what they can do going into March Madness. Illinois, another turnover. And that's a great job of just mixing up the defense. Again, you're with Johnny Davis. You've got to understand this is an attack. And that's exactly what Johnny Davis does in that possession. Run with Geo Baker playing that passing lane. What guys have missed, as you see, on their last seven from the field. But Liddell in the paint, in traffic, and a whistle and a foul. I'm telling you, Corey, he will fight. Hurry here. Down with five to shoot, open space. Two. Cowens, jump stop, drives inside, count it, and the foul. Huskers being aggressive, getting to the rim. I look, block 10 shots, seven steals, and even after the game, Joe Toussaint said, Rutgers, they were always in the right spot. They were Loss on Wednesday, a 12 0 Rutgers run. Willis up top. Shot goes up, he's crashing every single time. You gotta put a body on him. Fade away, no good. There he is. Greg Lee missed it, but Hera. 94 feet, plays as hard as he can and finds his, finds his way on offense, getting rebounds like he did. Three at the top of the arc, in and out. Hot on Harper. Long three and too long. Immediate timeout at the neck. Off the screen from Hera. Backs it up. And he'll take that all night. Rutgers dodged the bullet. It's one thing that Steve Peichel talked about today. Just the fact that this Rutgers defense has done a much better job. This the Ron Harper Jr. who knows how to finish. At the opposite end, more pick and roll action. But here's the Big Ten slate. The two questions I have here as we get in the second half going. Adjustment at the rim from Snotty didn't lead to a offense. Can always keep you in a game. Yeah, I'm just, I'm watching even in a game like this, is watching their position, watching their active hands. Filipovic drives into three Rutgers players. It's Purdue, he's a mid-range shooter. That runner you saw, that's kind of his game. Mid-range jump shots and runners at the rim. Miles Kale backs the three. Fernandez hit on the arm, he'll go to the line. So you saw C.J. Kelly just throw his arms up. Fernandez to the basket. Fade away. Whistle. He'll go to the line. Fernandez has thrown at Rutgers because they're playing inspired basketball here in the second half. Brandon Johnson tried to yoke it. He got fouled and he'll have free throws. It's first lead of the night. Early five for Baker on a couple of makes. Coleman. Step back. It's a three of his own. Missed. The defensive intensity ramping up for Rutgers. Can NJIT answer? Butler, that's a deep three, and he connects. Beautiful move to the hoop, and just the ball has not been able to find its way down the bucket. And Lee may have caught dunks from from Amorye. That time, that was that was just cleaning up the garbage. Tough one, but it goes down to one possession game. Ziggy Reed steps back into the jumper. And Amorier again on the defensive glass. Off night, seven points on just one of six. Watkins blocked by Hall. This game from behind the arc. Rutgers is 0 for 5 at the start, and all five of their shots have been tough. A play broken up. They usually send three guys to the offensive glass. Relentless. Mark elevates Harper. Well, get a fingertip on it. Texas Tech and Arkansas coming down the end. You can check out the conclusion of that one right now on TNT. Deja for the Scarlet Knights. What an incredible sequence. And Harper with the block. They've been on that side of the floor this whole possession. Franklin, his first bucket. 
How about the change of pace? And they're going to be scared. Five to shoot. Mashburn off balance. Gets knocked to the floor. And with eight points already. Last four games, 16 points combined for Mayan as Walker gets it and rejected by Ron Hart. But he has not been in the game for a good long time. Well, it may, may have been a re-aggravation of that ankle, but let's hope not. Let's repeat repeated uh, defensive breakdown by Indiana. And a reject. Won 20 games a season ago. We're going to get an invite to the big dance. It's that time of year when those veteran teams start to turn it up. And here's a foul inside. That is just, that's his shot. He is a mid-range killer. Livers off balance. Friendly bounce off the heel. And we don't want to overreact right now. Uh, we think this first pick has put us in a position of strength now, and we want to continue. Kowalski for a foul, but able to finish through all that contact. You get Murray one-on-one -on -one against Harper into the paint. Hook shot. It's a ball game again. Six-point deficit facing Penn State. Pickett, no points here in this first. Meanwhile, here's Race Thompson, the senior on senior night. Couple shimmy shakes, and he misses his first attempt. And Harper clears it at quad one wins. Rutgers had that stretch of four wins against ranked opponents. Geronimo kicks out and around the arc, 10 to shoot. Back inside this time, it's Thompson. One dribble, hook, no. One on one against Ron Harper Jr. Spinning baseline. Harper stayed with him, didn't matter. Wall finishes, he's got to shoot. Tyler Wall, and it's gonna be an offensive foul. Third on wall. And Davis now to work for Wisconsin. Oh, what a and a takeaway. It's Harper. Suspended for just the one game because of his involvement after that Wisconsin game. And Johns made the shot, but before that, he shot. Oh, that spin move. Wall taking a baseline. Blocks Amori. One of the. It's a wall. 16 points make it 18 points in the game. They've gone from the 2-3 to the man-to-man. -man. This possession man-to-man. -man. So you want to continue to work it. There's Wall. That's a two-point attempt. He gets it. Liddell now matched up against Harper. As the back came down in the paint, fades away, blocked. The traffic killing a lot of time on the shot clock. Gets it to Malik Hall. Taking on Harper. Spin, fade, no. She's left here for Rutgers and this is one I know they feel like they've got to get as Northwestern turns it over there attack attack, attack. shot clock at eight Nance being bumped by Mulcahy and he turns it over instead of redriving again putting pressure on the defense with plenty of time on the shot clock turn around for Scott Harper got him on the earlier I was a math pentathlete Hall of Famer I just added four instead of three <laughs> And I told you I'm a man of letters. I didn't notice it. <laughs> the rim. Boy, that's mind-boggling. Toussaint, good feet inside, and a foul. Keegan Murray on it. Does a little bit of everything. I'll say Scott working against Ron Harper Jr. Scott a little strong with that shot. McConnell Act Jr. had just two points in his last game against Central Connecticut State. Just one for seven from the floor. Another miss from Michigan. And so far, Rutgers doing whatever they want as well. Some young guys out there. Diabate, nice move. Diabate going down low. Tough shot. He, he's their, they're probably their best shot maker in just terms of someone who can create some space, step backs, and rise up and, and knock it down. You see the great help in the pause. He's come out and has hit three triples here in the opening half. Well, he checked there by Gio. Missed it. Three off the mark from Trey Jackson. Rebound secured by Yetna. He'll curl around to roll it in for one. Eight second differential. Now this is off the foot of Trey Jackson. Off ends up court. Yetna backing in on Harper. Lefty finish, count it, and a foul. Crowd still booing as Stefanovic gets it into Edie and then Harper takes it. Bohannon against Harper Jr. 
And that'll be an offensive foul against Nas Bohannon, drawn by Harper. Tournament matchups, right? There are teams that in so many ways, I think they do a good job making them somewhat evenly matched, but then it comes down to the, the game match. Falling away, batted up in the air by Hunter, who got it last. And the decision is made by Kelly. Here's C.J. Fulton pulled up, and Harper Jr. snatches it away. Rutgers looking to run. Hyatt. And the offense runs again through Neil Quinn. Spinning around, Harper Jr. in a slam. Quinn up for the screen. Seven to shoot. Feed it downstairs. Tipped away, Harper Jr. enters. Ball from going out of bounds. Reed, the back down on Harper. And Parolin, stripped. Who's it off of? Off his thigh, yes. And that Kanosman off a tough spin and a pump fake and floats it over a Morier too. Go for Grimes, able to follow his own miss. This is Justin Gorham off that baseline. Last game was against Amir Sims. He had the biggest stop of the game defensively against the center. So I like the fact that Harper has both the level to his game. So much bounce in his step. Here's Gorham. Young man who could barely crack the rotation last year, and he's denied by Hart. Give. Shot clock at 10. Bear wants to take Harper. Elevates too much. Realize how important he is defensively. Well, that was a great microcosm of it right there because he helped out his teammate to take away that curl cut jump shot potentially. 25 seconds left in the half. Geronimo leaning in. No. Jackson did. Watch that hot start, then cooled off, finished 5 of 7. Brace Thompson picked up two early fouls. He was limited in the first half. But... Nice dunk in. Wonderful dunk in. Thompson, no. That's, that's too bad. Johnson leaning in. Got it. 19 for Brandon Johnson. The play here today. But I wonder if he had destroyed competition here, would he now be in the lottery conversation? I think it would have been a shoot. He was the guy that was contesting my shots every time I would go to the basket and do this, that, and the other. So, but that was my first workout, and they prepared me for the rest of my workouts because the ball in his hands at six foot nine. And when you think about that type of talent level, Jake Larabia, and I'm not call calling him Josh Giddy, but he. And, you know, you would say, hey, he took a lot of shots, but he shot a great percentage also. And, you know, a lot of his is energy and pride and playing hard and competing. And I think that's why. More like the off the court is the most important part. You know, like we could do all the teaching, but let's make sure that they know how to be. Harper's three tipped out on the rebound of Moore. He tried to get it to his friends. Instead, it goes to the Hawkeyes. Up the floor, there's Tucson. Just like a really good look at Sanford with the rebound for I. Sanford going in the end. A little floater short. That will knock those down, Jeff. There's Cornwall wide open and another miss. Harrow with another offensive rebound. Jackson Davis, he wasn't able to get the ball. Both coaches here not afraid to go with some zones and some gimmick defenses. Down by 10, a cup of this game here in the second half. Pickett was quiet in the first two. Moore is definitely fresh. Good help defense by McConnell. From behind the arc, good strategy, especially considering. Wall trying to make him pay, and he does. Second from deep. Today, 13 points, five assists, three turnovers. Hepper to an attack again. Rejected by Harper. That's an excellent execution. And Cliff Amore has been playing so well. And now a foul here on the other end will send. Well, Houston is a tremendous talent. Just hasn't seemed to find the consistency yet. The battle help. Rolls around and down the freshman from with it backup point guard gives him about eight minutes a game off the bench nice pass inside Dickinson knows what to do that's right well, four consecutive ranked wins really changed the course of their season and Hunter Dickinson he's six Amore here he is defending Dickinson that's a good battle in the post Dickinson gets it with the right hand here in the second half Stephen that's their first made three-pointer tonight after four misses 
Jones driving. Great drive, great finish. By Zach Eady early. Here's Hunter into the paint, knifing to the rim, off the glass, will not go, rebound out of baby. To Edey, they had a man in front, couldn't get the pass, and Edey will go to the line with the contact and the foul. Okay. Effectively. And then I a throw it. into the backcourt. You jinxed it, that's right, Lyle. Yep. And give Rutgers credit. Curbelo splits him down the lane. No. And Curbelo tried to save it, and it belongs to Rutgers. Eight. As most of the Illini have, this is the well that they've had most success with. Coburn gets doubled. Feet, and the route is on. Kofi collects. And this, and right now, they're into passing lanes. They're playing as five. Hard take. Body bucket and one. That Johnny Davis trying to hunt down his first points. A guy who averages about 20. First half It'll be an important decision if this one continues to be close. Dropping it off, Crowell with a pump fake and the lay-in. Davison on the chance to beat number 16 Ohio State tonight. There's Branham, the outstanding freshman who shot his blocks by right there for McConnell this year. Also talking about two very experienced players that go. You're going up to 2-3 zone, you get a touch in the middle, E.J. Liddell skipping it. You give up a shot like that, you might not get a better one. A rare two from Arns. No, another. Liddell. Branham with six. Branham drives. Hangs rejected by Harper out of bounds. Third, no. Rebound to Hogarden on the run. Come the Spartans. Christie. It was hard to the basket. Denied by... Bowie, long three, doesn't go. Roper, the offensive board, and he lays it in. And then we've talked. Roper left open in the corner, well short. Offensive rebound, though, Young. Felt Northwest for that situation. Gets him a reclock and lets him get set here on the offensive end. Here's Greer. Leaves it for Young, who lays it in. The game that Rutgers has never led. Remember, they stole one at Nebraska, led for just the final minute and a half, and now Bowie. Six in the ballgame. Here's Bryce McGowans against McConnell, dropping it off, but it's a turnover. Mulcahy, 65, Rutgers win. Shot clock at five, baseline drive. Trey McGowans with the finish, and Nebraska should play from Nebraska because he's got about seven. <laughs> KP likes to yes. stay hydrated. <laughs> Side, Walker rejected. Well, they said it's So a break for Rutgers there. The foul is on Mulcahy. It's his third. Keeping Harper with... Reaver gave him a great 16-minute lift in Minneapolis. He's really come on since Rutgers had that 18-day oh. COVID pause. I you never know if you're going to get that call, even on game day. And he stepped up and played huge down the stretch against Iowa. Sutherland was unavailable against Iowa. Thompson takes the three drives, draws contact. Uh, Sutherland not scoring much here lately. Goes baseline, draws three defenders, left it awkwardly. They kick it out. Lowy lets it go for two. The last five. Looking inside, Rabracha. Good patience underneath, but he misses, gets his own, and he'll put it back up and in. I love the end. These and, and interviews and, and uh, 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 um, the psychological test, everything we go through in the draft. So we have to go through everything before we make our final decision, and they're doing the same thing. How the player, just, you know, the players they're playing with, right? The, the level of teammate and guy they're playing against is a whole different deal so it's it makes it uh, you know but you know Dyson of course is high on everybody's list of what you know what he has been able to showcase and he has this confidence offensive back there I mean he can pull some stuff out of there like he did that time on that nice run Keegan Murray going to war and end up with an easy dunk for Cooper Murray at the rim nice job by Ruck off the inbound Keegan Murray fighting his way get back down and then finish Perkins in traffic. Perkins strong. Most of the time in Big Ten play, a, a good shot is probably the best shot you're going to get in a possession. So Paul McKay, he's got to let it fly from the. And activate the offense now. Sessoms on the drive. Blocked by Harper. 
Micah Shrewsbury was telling us he could dunk from anywhere on the floor. Lundy with a good drive. Lundy going right at heart. Johnson driving on Harper, fading, tough shot, doesn't get it. Amore. Wall inside over Harper, Amore the rebound. Well, Wall got point blank right today. 13 points, five assists, three turnovers. Hepper to an attack again, rejected by Harper. Wisely gets organized. Ivy turn in the corner. The scoop won't. <laughs> Driving in with a left hand. Good finish. They're improving. They can shoot it. Late shot clock. Frazier going to work. No, no whistle. Amori, another rebound. And that's a great job of just mixing up the defense. Again, you're with Johnny Davis. You've got to understand this and attack it. That's exactly what Johnny Davis does in that position. Run home. Two of six, though, from the three point line. Here's your three point shooter. Davison thought about it, passes it up. And while on the take, avoiding the outstretch arm. Oh, Davison on the coach Hop deserves a chance. Carl used to dump it into the post to Patrick Ewing in, in high school. In high school, <laughs> Cambridge Ridge and Lat. 11-1 over the last four minutes as they open up the 11-point lead. McGowan slithers inside but can't get the roll. McGowan's jump stop drives inside, count it, and the foul. Huskers being aggressive, getting to the rim, going to the corner. Baker with the save, but right to Bryce McGowan's. Ball bounce free. McGowan's drives it up, blocked by Amori. High quality looks for Geo Baker. This time you throw it at the post, and Cliff Amori throwing it out, getting Geo Baker a look, can't get it to go. Dante Scott on the push to Hakeem Hart. Hart's been a revelation this year for Maryland, and he starts the scoring. Urge takes it inside, gets rejected. In there to do is heat up the ball handler. Spinning around the Abate, what a move there. He's had a tough game, but not. The Abate underneath, a nice move on the base. And this sends Central Connecticut State just one for seven from the floor. Ayangma had it ripped away by Ron Harper Jr. Milipovic drives into three Rutgers players. Larry Bird action. Maybe John Stockton to be more exact, but Adamori was just gonna lay that up and he almost tore the backboard. Fernandez hit on the arm, he'll go to the line. So you saw CJ Kelly just throw his arms up. 0 for 5 from 3 for Rutgers. So that would tell me early on, if you're open, you got a high percentage, take it, but otherwise, try to get to that. Has been mostly contained to Baker. Coleman, pump fakes. Stagger step into the lane, and Amori, and of course, it's going to number two. Switch with Harper Jr. Bigger defender, blow by. Watkins with a shot clock at six. Watkins floater, finally for Merrimack. Wilson, he's been going after Harper Jr. so far, and that's the rim. Jamiro Wilson accelerates, but a Harper Jr. there for the block. And now it's like a heavyweight fight between Rutgers and Houston. Giroux trying to answer six in the ACC. And this is the guy it's built all around, Amir Sims, the kick out. Tyson inside, and he's turned back. Trent Frazier, honorable mention, all Big Ten pick this year. Jacob Grandison to the rim. They've been on that side of the floor this whole possession. Franklin, his first bucket. How about the change of pace? Quick player that could potentially block the shot, it was over. So it's been a 15-point swing. 
And that will help Indiana's Nice job by Baker. He took away the cross screen for Trace Jackson Davis. Down the lane, Tennessee, finger roll up and in. Yeah, and they're going to be scared. Five to shoot, Mashburn. Off balance, gets knocked to the floor. Guys to help them understand what it's like getting in the league? Absolutely, man. I'm a second round pick, so I didn't, I didn't work. What, what, oh, nice footwork. I didn't. Offensive back here. I mean, he can pull some stuff out of there like he did that time on that nice run. Keegan Murray going to war. And end up with an easy dunk for Cliff Murray at the rim. Nice job by Ruckus. Off the inbound, Keegan Murray fighting his way. Double machine. John Hara, you mentioned 20 boards did that against Northwestern. Off the curl, another foul on London. Coach at Gil St. Bernard said he used to have to scream at him to shoot early in his career, but he's found his offensive confidence this season. Both and they're relying on the pick and roll a little bit too much. Davison pulls the trigger. He has a chance to beat number 16 Ohio State tonight. Here's Branham, the outstanding freshman who shot his blocks. By Harper's ball. Mulcahy, though, is playing with three fouls. And there's number three on Ron Harper Jr. Right on cue. So 14. We would have thought, but they don't turn it over. They've been an elite offensive unit. Tough shot for Patrick McCaffrey and a foul. It's like nobody can make a shot. All guys are 4 of 18, Rutgers 5 of 17. I do believe both of those numbers qualify. Off again. Murray going to have to go. Nope, Bohannon. Off the fake. Bohannon launching. Another one short with the shot. Hired aggressive basketball in that seven-point loss. Played extremely hard. Just didn't have some things go their way down the stretch. But if this Penn State team can continue to play because of his improvement on defense and offense. Greg Lee, tough shot, tough angle. And then a tie up. Maury and Harris. He's going to make the right read. Rutgers taking advantage of the points in the paint early on. Bit of a smaller lineup that Nebraska has compared. No way Ron Harper Jr. should be that open in transition. He's hit a few threes now. Wilcher gets the shot off. And Wilcher connects against the Huskers, who have allowed 77 points per game this year. Now 72 for Rutgers today. Man. All the way to the paint was flying off that pin down. This by Houston, saved by McConnell. He ends up in the lap of Howard Isley. Brian Fonseca spoke to Muhammad Oliver, Cliff's guardian here in the United States. He's originally from Nigeria. Lob on the ball in his hands, coming off ball screens. This is Hunter Tyson, a four-year scholarship player, up on the rim, rebounded by Harper. What are you going to do? As Harper did on the other end a few yeah, minutes ago. Yeah, the same thing. Tyson off the screen will step into a two. And Clemson has back and try to avoid a fifth foul. Oh, look. Yeah, they were good when he was out, except for that last 8-2 run. Harper, a block shot on... Double-double of the season. First time that's ever happened in his career. Knocking down that three. Off the screen, Jenkins tries it from deep. And a board for Amorye. Antoine Butler, he's their point guard. He's one of the guys in double figures. He's their leading scorer, Miles Coleman. Finds Butler on the wants to run against an NJIT team that is athletic and very aggressive defensively, but there they get the... Well, you, you, you're talk, talking about one of those four-story programs in all of college basketball. And anytime you have a trip like that... They... Here's I out. The three, no. Good individual defense from Livers. And now Livers on the other end. Rob, 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 Rob. Rector shooting very well from the field despite the three-point struggles. Vance can't get that one to go. A brick fest. I don't think Steve Peichel, and, and, and honestly, I think Iowa's gotten good shots too. I think both coaches would say we're, we're good in quality looks, but we've got to knock them down. Yeah. Joe Wieskamp. Yeah. State where he had a double double. Nice job. Rutgers establishing the post early. Yeah, he has been playing so well lately for the Scarlet Knights. When Baker's mouth starts going like that, too, right? That's true. <laughs> He's in one of those Geo Baker zones that you talked about in the first half. That's right. Miles. But 
allowing Jacob Young to go one-on-one. -on -one. And Northwestern again coughs it up and is... And they force 13, right. Henry curling, loose, as he has it stripped, Young, hard push, block. Again, I think the guards need to step up and be aggressive in this scenario. They set up the play for Franklin. And for Johnson, you talk about it though, the defensive end is where Steve Michael told us he was really concerned. Is now can't buy a bucket. Let's see if Jacob Young, with his speed and quickness, can string something together to get them back in here. There's Lundy, that one doesn't go. You know, Coach Guard, when we talked to him about it, he said, let me tell you something, this man is the vocal leader of our squad. Is that jumper's good by Aline. Now Wisconsin, they use this shot clock. Watch out, oh, four. Flipped it over. Putting on his apron, serving up his big fella at the rim with the easy deuce. And off the inbound, Scott. To produce so far. One reason the pointers are up three and looking to add to it. Good pass by no gel Easter. Hunter wanted, but Hunter bails him out with the offensive board. And offensive boards were a big reason that Rutgers had a good first half. Here in the second half, it's been for both teams, actually. Maryland trying to get the share of the Big Ten title at least. And Rutgers looking for a big... Baker has seven early. Always a good sign for the Scarlet Knights. Wagner trying for the answer. No. The ball reversed to the other side of the court. The defense had to shift. The lane opened up and okay, he took advantage. Griffin hey, fell out. Look, Wesson will hand it off to Andre Wesson. Here's Liddell. Three, no good. Block of the official. And it looked like Yaboa did slap it out. A shot. Cop, and it rattles in. Northwestern needs him down the stretch. Hurt them in an opportunity in College Park. That same shot. This one blocked and Harper. And he found religion. He found religion. He went to community college, put up numbers, and here he is, man. He's just so grateful for the every opportunity that he gets from here on out. And has it. Go, 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 go. We always need more guys like you in the game helping these young players. So whatever it is you end up doing moving forward. Come off a double screen, but they're blowing it up. They've definitely uh, raised their level of physicality here. We luckily we probably hit a couple shots because they're, play, they're playing much better than the last. Yeah. Well, and again, when you talk about the drills and being out here on the court, one of the things that all NBA personnel want to know is how competitive are their guys. So, well, that's Darion Sebron's game. But what you don't see often is young men of this age stepping up and being leaders in an environment where they haven't been before. Talking, uh, Joe Wieskamp and Luca Garza are two guys making money at the pro level. That's saying something. That's what Fran McCaffrey can do. Bohannon caught a break that, that time. Baker chasing Bohannon. Here's Murray. Perkins, the launch from deep. Battle Friday. Inbound to Perkins with 10 on the shot clock. Perkins, back out to Chris Murray. He'll try the three, and he'll hit. What a three for Chris Murray. Five from deep. There's Murray again. That one off the heel, and... Greg, and just to finish your thought on what the big trio did to bring this basketball program back, they hadn't been to the tournament since 1991. They went last year, should have gone in 2020. Double machine. John Hara, you mentioned 20 boards, did that against Northwestern. Off the curl, another foul on Lundy. Penn State hanging around. Got to continue to make the extra pass. And somebody's got to step up and knock in a three-point shot. Seth Lundy yeah. tried. Lundy, deep three, had it blocked by Harper. By three, they give it to Lee, to Lundy. Lee for three. 6'11", sophomore, and Bates has it ripped out by McConnell, but it goes right to Miller. Point. Prowl at the top, the handoff to Chucky Hepburn. Here's Wall, got an open look for three, and Wall who has been under 10 on the shot clock. Look who takes over. Johnny Davis, step back three. And a rebound for McConnell. That burn turn in the corner. 
tipped right back to it. Davison for three. Long rebound. Selling them on a vision and building the program that way. He has a chance to get it back to the NCAA tournament as Brooks with a missed three-pointer. The teams. <laughs> yes, he was. Had a teammate by the name of Jordan. Dickinson on the baseline. Kicking it out. Houston with a hand in his face. Short online, though. He's going to be, I think, the poster child for years to come when Rutgers turn this thing around. Geo Baker's going to be the one that people point to. Yeah, a lot of talk. Brooks finds Houston. He's already hit four of these. Correction. He's hit five from outside the arc. Able to keep it in play. Well, Purdue, the number one offense in terms of efficiency in the country. And we're seeing it on the stunt at the ball. Ivy to Stefanovic, quick trigger. And Stefanovic can't get that one to go. Rebound and a foul. It'll be on Manier. Into the hands of Frazier. Baker has the best jump shot in college basketball. That step back is unstoppable. Yeah, Curbelo, he said, I've had concussions before, but nothing like that. Again, kept him out of 12 games. He tried to come back once, but ultimately was getting headaches. They had to take him back out of the lineup. Like that curse, so to speak, but turnovers hurting him as well. This guy has been the offense. Right back into him. And he kicks it out to go interesting. What a turn of events. That was a big time block. Dale Mendez provides that big buck. That we saw in the, in the last game against Michigan State, right? He was more of a facilitator at first. Here is Davis with his first shot. That's too strong. Eight different lead changes in this game. A majority of them have come here in the second half. Gives it back to Davis at 4-3. They're relying on the pick and roll a little bit too much. Davison pulls the trigger. He has a foul. Yeah, I think we do need to talk about the fact that he totally should have been either Big Ten Player of the Week or, or Co-Player of the Week. The week he had last, last two games. This Bingham. Pace is so important for Michigan State, too. A lot of minutes played by the starters for Rutgers. Got to try to run them off the floor. Patience this time of year, but good players you wait on. Get it out to Brown. His second shot of the game. There you go. He was looking for a lot of attention. Trying to make something happen. Down low. Blocks and hit back. Two seconds. One second. Shot his teeth in a big East, a big 10 rather, in field goal percentage. Today they're shooting 61-5. And Norm is 42. Baker way downtown. Got it. Then you give them something, a directive, and they run it to perfection. Hauser goes cross court. It's a side of the back. Your play by Ron Harper Jr. Robbie Barron in the corner. He'll try three to answer, and it rolls home. 7-0 run here for the Scarlet Knights. And Northwestern answer. Bowie for three, and he does. Big shot there. Shot clock at seven. Nance. Now Bowie going to have to hoist a deep three. See what Northwestern's answer will be. Corner three, Aldiz, you hits. Defense from Pike. Open three for Bryce McGowan. It's gave him a good look tonight. That was a good look for Geo Baker. Just popped in and out. He can make that shot. Lap man waiting for traffic to. That's Derek Walker against the Mooring. Kobe Webster bumped on the pass to May and the three falls for Lapkins tonight. Double team comes. He's drawn all the attention. Wiltshire, four to shoot. Has to hoist the three. Rattles off over to half. We'll see if they make a concerted effort to get it to Wahab again. And see if Rutgers adjusts, maybe doubles down low. Wahab's wide open. I'm surprised, really. I guess I'm not on the floor. Here late in this possession. Scott, double team, out to Green. Hit one in the first half. And against Ron Harper Jr. Murray, tough shot, air ball, but a foul. The foul call. Most of the time in Big Ten play, a, a good shot is probably the best shot you're going to get in a possession. So Paul McCahey, he's got to let it fly from the... To bait the offense now, Sessoms on the drive. Blocked by Harper. Under 10 on the shot clock, Luke takes over. 
Johnny Davis, step back three. And the rebound for McConnell. And for him and <laughs> for the Jersey Mike's arena. Johnny Davis started mm. off on a nice note. Wall inside over Harper Amori, the rebound. Well, Wall got point blank range. clock. He's got five seconds here to work with, with Harper Jr. defending. It's a tough assignment. Wall and Harper Jr. got him. Shot clock by is fouled by Harper. Fouled on the arm, and that'll take us to a timeout. 11-1 over the last four minutes as they open up the 11-point lead. McGowan slithers inside, but can't get the roll. Right. Trey McGowan's, and that's a carry. Ball just slipped out of his hand. Down low. Well, Hobbs wide open. I'm surprised, really. I guess I'm Overs for a team that was ranked fourth nationally in that category. They've got to protect the ball. Rutgers goes zone late clock, and Theum is now two of his last 19 from three after going off against Michigan for 27. It, it has been a struggle for Geo Baker shooting the ball. High quality looks for Geo Baker. This time you throw it at the post, and Cliff Amore throwing it out, getting Geo Baker a look, can't get it to go. 15 points tonight. Step back, three, no. But Burge takes it inside, gets rejected. Hey, look, we have tape on him where he is facing up and hitting the 15-footer, which pulls the big men away from the basket and opens it up for us. Pick and rolls a certain way, but then they're letting Seton Hall reject these ball screens. They're getting themselves in trouble. That's a foul, clearly. More than capable. That's a, a good sign for the Rutgers Scarlet Knights. He's a leading scorer and rebounder for Rutgers, and there's the oh, active. Lots of shot clock here, Robbie. Morton has to pull it, and he airballs it. Shot clock violation, and that. 0 for 5 from 3 for Rutgers. So that would tell me early on if you're open, you got a high percentage, take it. But otherwise, try to get to that. Jones scoreless here in the second half. Had 11 in the first half. Just rises. And of course, it's going to number two. Switch with Harper Jr. Bigger defender, Blowbot. Watkins with a shot clock at six. Watkins floater, finally for Merrimack. Penetrate. Good defense here. Jamiro Wilson almost lost it and finally stripped the rim. Jamiro Wilson accelerates, but a Harper Jr. there for the block. And now it's like a heavyweight fight between Rutgers and Houston. Jerome trying to answer. The reset to Sasser. We come up on a final 60 seconds. Sasser, well short. Inbound right here. They go to Sims, and here we go. Sims comes down to Payne. He traveled with it. Harper. when they just didn't have the horses to compete in this league personnel wise that the guys played so tough we saw it there another I'm gonna put Tom is this what he's been able to accomplish maybe not the national championships he's got one they are astoundingly bad at the free throw line the last four games they are shooting 37 percent from the line as Seska but uh, even more than that you know what he's doing Jason he's really preparing himself to shoot my goodness he came down he's playing defense too and here comes Harper possession by Iowa Wh whipping the ball around but you know what happened on it nobody from Rutgers got out of position Nobody took the those guys like these guys. E.J. Liddell for Ohio State is one of the best late game players. There's Scott going to work against Harper, trying to lean in for contact. It's a steal this victory. Move position. He's got five assists now in the first half. FDU, meanwhile, on a three minute scoring trout. 
And skies for his sixth rebound of the night. You mentioned that the key word there was settles. And it leads to that. The, that the Nittany Lions were able to build that 18-point halftime lead because they went 6-13 from deep. They're 0-7 here in the second 20 minutes. Aside from McConnell's shot, pretty much seemed to be throwing the ball up without any real purpose. Marcel. Well, that's kind of similar to the Michigan game. Yeah. They're only 3 of 5. Michigan was 16 of 24. Long possession when you consider Nebraska is on offense here. Nine to shoot. Cheatham will fire. Eight to shoot. Mack has to pull for three. He has brought it. Here's Garza with his first rebound. Mathis knew that was off and forced him to get his hand on it. So. Greener. Good ball fake from the elbow. I say absolutely. Yeah, that means Caleb McConnell's a smart man. Knowing that Steve Pichel wants to really be great is on this end of the floor. Keegan Murray, that shot tipped a little bit by Harper and out of bounds. Jumper just won't go. That really good look at Sanford with the rebound for Iowa. Sanford going end to end. A little floater short. Harper now will push for Rutgers in trans. <laughs> Activate the offense now. Sessoms on the drive. Blocked by Harper. And that's how the first half ends. Eight. Lundy, deep three. Had it blocked by Harper. It's going to stay with Pence. Hepburn's been good today. 13 points, five assists, three turnovers. Hepburn to attack again. Rejected by Harper. Holding ball, draw some contact, goes up. People forget how long Ron Harper Jr.'s arms are. That is perfect timing. And what a defensive possession. Kurtz. Oh, Davison on the drive, and he thought he got hit. He's a little bit slow to get up. 16 Ohio State tonight. Here's Branham, the outstanding freshman who shot his blocks what by Harper. Held defense by Ron Harper Jr. coming over. Here's Liddell. Now matched up against Harper. As the back came down in the paint, fades and white blocks. Okay. Liddell. Branham with six. Branham drives. Hangs for shot. Stays with the Buckeyes and 3.2 to play. That's that we aren't forcing shots. This there from Oscar Palmquist. Now Bowie. Sweet move. Leaves it for Barron who had it blocked. Gets it back and lays it in. Junior the denial. McLaughlin fires a three. Uh, can get it going offensively. Cliff Amore's an impressive player, but defense is where they've kind of had their thing. That's where they've hung their hat. And you see them blocking shots, contesting shots, uh, just nothing. Their leading score is back and trying to avoid a fifth foul. Oh, well, look, yeah, they were good when he was out, except for that last 8 2 run. Harper, a block shot on Tyson. McConnell spins away with a takeaway. Geo Baker, an off night, seven points on just one of six. Watkins blocked by Harper. Baker, the. Now, Lehigh's been trying to post up Harper Jr. these last few minutes. Marcus Wilson got blocked. Harper Jr. was there. But keep it alive. Just rolled right off the rim. Jamiro Wilson accelerates, but a Harper Jr. there for the block. Rutgers can slow. The love of playing basketball 
and then wound up going to Yakima Community College, found it again, and then um, has really picked it up with playing for that G League team. He was his grandma. Isn't that amazing? He was at home. Good shot, don't overreact. Great job by Christian there. We got the West Coast Conference Player of the Year from the college. They're really hard and they uh, compete and they can get to the rim and slash and all that doesn't really always show up, show up in workouts. And also, like, there's their basketball IQs, like right there, they're on this. Right. Penn State out of the gates, two for nine from the floor. They've made a three. That was Lundy's. Inside look, knocked away by Harper. In the offseason, got better. Boy, he had some signature moments over the course of the year. Bad pass by Hera. Numbers for Rutgers. Jordan Davis now to work for Wisconsin. Oh, what a and steal. A takeaway. It's Harper. It's Baker. And if they can hold on, everybody's going to focus on Rutgers and what they can do going into March Madness. Illinois, another turnover. Kerbella with a bad pass. So few of those left here for Rutgers. And this is one I know they feel like they've got to get. As Northwestern turns it over there. But Damian, it's got to start on that end, right? You've got to defend. You've got to move the ball. Attack, attack, attack. Shot clock at eight. Nance being bumped by Mulcahy, and he turns it over. Here comes Harper. Hesitation move. Eight. A turnover here. I don't know if you're going to necessarily foul. I think they got the turnover. turnover. There you go. Absolutely. And they did it two seconds to come off the clock. Now, they are going to go. Today, only averaging about three minutes per game, but all hands on deck for Minnesota today. And now Harper poked it free. Mag tipped it up the floor. Now Harper cover in the win against Iowa. Blocked ten shots, seven steals. And even after the game, Joe Toussaint said, Rutgers, they were always in the right spot. They were physical and they were tough. A turnover. Good position that time. Yeah, everybody has to gang rebound, and, and that's to be expected when you're undersized playing in this league. You're going to give up some offensive rebounds, but another careless turnover. Here's whoever. McConnell able to cash in again. Four point game. Great size in their backcourt. That's something that Rutgers brings to the table. Now a turnover. Now they can get out and run. And both. And Harper thought he got fouled. No whistle. Four on two. And Palmquist, that hit off his leg, but no kick because it's inadvertent. That leads to Baker knocking down the three. Buffkin with the rebound. See if Michigan can put together back-to-back -to -back good possessions and instead. No. Look right there. They have struggled. Not just Times Michigan has just not located Rutgers' best shooters on the floor. That's another open shot for Geo Baker. That's too hot to handle for Musa Diabat. And this sends Central Connecticut State just one for seven from the floor. Ayangma had it ripped away by Ron Harper Jr. It's been so good on both ends for them. Now he'll tee up with a scoop that up to Ron Harper Jr., who knows how to finish. At the opposite end, more pick and roll action, but it leads to a turnover for Central Connecticut State. Because he, he's their, their probably their best shot maker in just terms of someone who can create some space, step backs, and rise up and, and knock it down. You see the great help defense there from a collective effort of, of Scarlet Knights. The quarantine, the pause. He's come out and has hit three triples here in the opening half. A little heat check there by Gio. And the steal. Harper leading a four on two. But now you have to say, look, we have tape on him where he is facing up and hitting the 15-footer, which pulls the big men away from the basket and opens it up for his teammates. Anybody who can face up and score. Basically, is trying to force pick and rolls a certain way, but then they're letting Seton Hall reject these ball screens. They're getting themselves in trouble. That's a foul, clearly. I was going to say, they're having their way getting to the rim. Not to go two for one. Eight-second differential. Now, this is off the foot of Trey Jackson. An opportunity for Rutgers here at the end of the half. The rattles in and out. 8-0 run for the Hall. Turnover. Rutgers hanging on.
Crowd still booing as Stefanovic gets it in the and then Harper takes it away. What a read by Ron Harper Jr. But at this rate, some players in the Big Ten are going to have their hands full to him. Collins stripped. Collins up. Collins as called by at the rim. Here's C.J. Fulton pulled up, and Harper Jr. snatches it away. Rutgers looking to run. Hyatt in transition got hit. Quinn, he's the operator of the offense, and you see it there with a the feed, but Rutgers tips it away. Well, Quinn up for the screen. Seven to shoot. Feed it downstairs. Tipped away. Harper Jr. intercepts the pass. Rutgers does have a timeout here. Pikes might have still been in school the last time Rutgers actually was a player at UConn the last time they were there. Yeah, for those who don't know, Mike was a heck of a player. 6-11, so he's a big target, and we've already seen now twice Rutgers has tried to get him on an alley-oop, cutting right to the basket. Just didn't mistime it just a little bit. This is the opening uh, play, first play of the game for Rutgers. Inflatable, is that a donut in the student section too? <laughs> They're rocking out over there, I'll tell you that. Kids are happy to be back as we get the second half going, and Rutgers takes it away. They could use this. Baker, 4-3. Parolin. Stripped. Who's it off of? Off his thigh? Yes. And that'll bring us to a timeout. Well, Rutgers have looking to penetrate. Good defense here. Jamiro Wilson almost lost it and finally stripped away. Harper Jr.'s got it. Looking to break. 